All right, what's going on, boys and girls? How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the Worst Magic the Gathering stream, where tonight we're running Naith of the Dire Hunt for two and two forests. We get a three, three human warrior. But man, has this thing got some uh, pretty interesting and profitable of effects, especially profitable in terms of cards? Because, first of all, whenever one or more creatures you control fight or become blocked, draw a card so in combat you know if one or two or three whatever of our creatures become blocked we're still only going to draw one card however we draw one card per fight so uh yeah a lot of, a lot of cards can be profited uh via fight spells and then furthermore we have at the beginning of combat on our turn we can pay two and either a red or a green making this a gruel commander and if we do double target creature's power until end of turn and that creature must be blocked this combat if able so um it's been a while basically we have a lot of we have a good amount of creatures i guess that are are good fighters you know uh things like we've got ranging raptors here right that's probably a good fighter um Ripjaw Raptor, just to uh, keep up with the dinosaur theme there. But, you know, got a Death Toucher here, an Indestructible here, right? Ill-Tempered Loner, so whenever uh, it's dealt damage, um, yeah, it deals that much damage, the blah, 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 and then it flips over, and it's even better, right? That's pretty cool. We've got Brash Taunter here. This, I don't know if I'm running this one in any other of my Brawl decks, and I really like this card whenever it's dealt damage it deals that much damage to target opponent and you can tap two in a mountain and tap it and it fights another target creature but the thing is it's not another target creature your opponent controls it's just another target creature so we could have it fight the tarasque you know hell we could have it fight the tarasque after combat so that way zopendril had doubled its power and toughness already or maybe after combat like you know after we paid that two and either a red or a green if you do double target creature's power until end of turn blah 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 if we have enough mana to get a creature's power doubled and then fight it up against brash taunter that'll be really good i remember the last time i played this uh or maybe one of the times i don't remember but i got some good use out of brash freaking taunter there um so let's see do i have too much more to freaking talk about here i guess so i added coglin Udaro. um i think the last time i played this coglin Udaro wasn't out now and enters the battlefield and it fights right i was considering taking out ravager worm for it right because coglin Udaro is kind of a uh, upgrade over this but you know I, if i keep them both in then i have both of them that enter the battlefield and fight, right? And Ravager Worm also gives us the flexibility of being able to destroy target land when it's activated ability that isn't a man ability, like man lands, you know? Um, let's see, I took out the Celestis and I took out um, Cold Steel Heart, um, which I, I hope doesn't come uh, and bite me in the rear end. We've got an average mana value of uh, 3.2 there, 38 lands, but we also have, where are you? There you are. Count the ambush there. So we have a total of 39 lands. Uh, is, is there really anything else I want to say? Um, I, I have Sulfum to double the power we deal during our fights, right? Non-combat damage. Uh, we have Toralf here, who uh, we'll see how good it is. I don't remember if I ever had a, a, a real nice moment with Toralf. And also, um, we have the Wicked Wolf, who... <laughs> I, I want to see if I can get good use out of it, because it re it's really a 3-3 three, three for 4. It's kind of a weak fight. Like, I feel like all it's going to be doing is bullying 2-2s, two you know what I mean? Um, so I, I've got my eye on this for removal, but it does enter the battlefield and fight. So even if it only bullies a 2-2 two, two or a freaking 1-1, one, one, at least it draws us a card, right? Um, so with that said... Let's get this started. Stitchicles! What's good, man? Yo, sorry I've been a wall. You know what? I might find it within my heart to forgive you. Well, welcome to the worst Magic the Gathering stream, man. It's just lovely to have you. <laughs> of course. Um, work has been so... Oh, and now he has freaking gosh darn COVID. Ah, oh, man. Get, get well soon. You know what? You got some big fat MTG. I don't think there's any better, any better medicine than big fat MTG. Damn, oh, lucky you to get some big fat MTG freaking medicine there. Uh, fifteen percent off eh, for a for a pack that doesn't get me a golden pack. Eh, I don't know. Um, I feel like the the bonus or the discount for something that doesn't get you a golden pack should be more, right? Because like if you buy 
right? Like, 10, you know, Aftermath or March of the Machines, you get, like, a plus 60% um, bonus in terms of rares, right? Because of the gold impact, you know what I mean? But this is only 15% off, you know? I don't know, man. Oh, since this deck is creature heavy, um, you should run... You know what? We'll consider that today, definitely. Because I have been keeping my eye on whether or not I want to uh, remove um, the Wicked Wolf, like I was mentioning. Yeah, I mean, if, if Wicked Wolf p pisses me off and sits in my hand and doesn't really uh, get me a good fight, yeah, I could replace it with Toski. It's the same mana cost, right? Don't, don't screw anything up there. That's, that's yeah. Yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah, I'll be keeping a... Uh, I'll be keeping my mind on that. That might happen by the end of the stream. I, I won't be updating the deck list. It, well, at least not in the description. Excuse me. I, I will update the deck list, obviously, if I make that change. But yeah, I'll probably not do it in the description. Oh, great! Atroxy, you guys. Wow, that's fun. Wow, cool, man. Nice. Uh, sure. I guess we can take it, right? Maybe we can get a cap attack record attack in there to, uh, um, exile one of their, uh, mana rocks or whatever. Yes. Card draw in Gruul is very good. Absolutely. Uh, let's go ahead and hit, um... Probably this, honestly, because next turn we could attack in with it just to um, ninjutsu the cap attack wrecker. Alright, that doesn't really happen. So we could probably uh, go ahead and uh, attack, I think. Why don't we... Uh... Do I want to drop that? Yeah, let's drop that and pass turn. Oh, let's see if it's okay. Alright, well, I guess I should have done that uh, pre-combat in that case, huh? Alright, we can probably take the opportunity to drop our commander here. I don't really see how the Wicked Wolf or... This might be good, honestly. Why don't, why don't we get that one done, right? I feel like that's good. Let's go ahead and attack. won't be able to replay the uh, Land of War Elves, obviously. Jesus Christ, idiot. Is that going to be... Give, give him a second. He's playing Atroxa, not because he's very intelligent. Give him a second. Jesus Christ, dude. All right, that's pretty good that we got that. Not going to lie. But we do need the uh, source of double green, though. I guess Lanowar Elves is going to have to be it. Uh, let's go ahead and hit that and pass turn. We're uh, not doing too well there. Damn, three uh, mountains. Not exactly what we wanted, since we don't really have two forests. Up against uh, four-color Teferi here. It looks like uh, you know, Lanowar Elves is always on the chopping block. Alright, good fucking god, dude. If you can't make it an interesting game, like, or at least speed it up. Alright, alright. It's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh... Let's go ahead and, uh, attack, I think, right? We'll attack and then we'll drop Naith. Yeah, let's just drop Naith now. I would assume it gets countered. We're, we're dropping it into four, man. I actually can't believe that they didn't even, uh, sit there and wait five seconds. Atroxa is the I wanna thank you for putting it in all caps too. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it in all caps, man. Uh let's go ahead and probably I mean, do I hit this? Because they're not even dropping anything. I mean, I'm honestly about to leave the freaking game, not even gonna lie. Uh let's go ahead and attack with um only this, right? Uh yeah, we're not paying this. I think I want to get Voracious Hydra down. You know what? Honestly, maybe I could have done burn down the house. 
Uh, let's go ahead and attack there. I just want to uh, not attack with Lenoir Elves because I want to make as big of a voracious Hydra as possible. X equals four, and then we can double the... Uh, right, one, two, three, four. That Voracious Hydra is probably going to demand removal. I would assume they remove Voracious Hydra, use Tamios to tap down uh, Nain. I think we'll do uh, burn down the house here, right? But for the creatures... Because now we have five power on the field. Doesn't matter. We can't afford to pay that, so. That Tamios definitely stalled, like, what was that, like, three turns or something? I mean, it's dead, of course. They didn't ult it or anything, but, like, it stalled a long-ass time. And now he has six lands, so let's see if we hit farewell here, you know? The fact the opponent isn't playing any proliferate creatures or enchantments, uh, it, it's just boring, dude. It's just mad boring, dude. Like, it's really just four-color Teferi. Not even dropping his commander. Which I guess makes sense, right? Because we have a fight commander. Like, I don't know if you should really be doing that. Um, what should we be doing here? Should I drop this? Because the thing is, like... It could be more power on the field, you know? Uh, yeah, let's just drop this, honestly. Because if they drop their 4-4 their four, four commander, that's not going to enter the battlefield and fight it and win. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Um, Silverback... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, honestly, let's just leave. Ah, oh, man. The, that lack of forest was pretty brutal there. Yeah. But, I mean... Come on. Five, four color to fairy or four color to fairy, dude. They've really got to stick that crap in hell tier. You know, like, just let them play against each other, you know? If that's what they enjoy, cool, you know? Cool. Send them in hell tier, let them face each other, you know? But it, it's four color to four, to fairy, you know? Like, if, if to fairy's in hell tier, why is it four color to fairy in hell tier? Kind of like how you know. Mono black Atroxa is in hell tier, yet four color Gristle Brand is still out here, not in hell tier. Uh, mm, mm, I I mean, getting this down when we go first and then being able to death touch fight against some stuff is pretty good, but like we're up against Perforos. They should be able to lightning bolt this, you know. We have two things with three toughness, two lands. That's got to be a mulligan, man. Hey, ay ay ay. Jesus, dude. Um, might want to, uh, might want to mulligan that, unfortunately. I, I was trying to, uh, get myself to keep it, but I couldn't figure out how to get myself to keep it. Let's go ahead and keep the six here. Get rid of Fiery Emancipation. Unfortunately, it's just too far out right now. Oh, Broker's Ascendancy. Oh, forget it. In a truck. Yeah, that's disgusting, man. <laughs> an extra proliferate for your planeswalkers, essentially. Oh, well, I guess an extra proliferate for everything, essentially. <laughs> that's pretty wild. Uh, the Lanoir Elf. Good luck. Have fun to the Lanoir Elf. Honestly, we should probably kill Magda with it. No wonder it pissed you off how he was playing it. Okay, because you run Atroxa. Okay, yeah. Man, what a disappointment that boy is. Uh, 
Sky Explorer ain't terrible, but uh, do we want Questing Beast down on them, or do we want Naith? Probably Naith, honestly. Let's just drop Naith Pass. Uh, yeah, because if they drop a, uh, a red creature next turn, we do have a uh, two fights in hand. Sorry, I was about to say, hey, we have two fights in hand. All right, let's see if they filter a card here. No, they like the hand. All right, well, they can start putting down uh, creatures with uh, Perforo's ability there. Hopefully, they don't have, like, Dracuseth. That would be messed up. As a matter of fact, we might need to take a... Uh, a precaution against Dracuseth here. Check this out. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to hold up that tail swipe at instant speed. If we need to, we can instant speed tail or er, instant speed fight questing beast against god knows what. Yeah, that's unfortunate right there. Jesus. He had the 4 damage one too. Jesus. All right. Um, all right. Yeah, pull explore. Hey, Oracle's good, but damn, we're going to have to wait for it. All right, they got six mana, so they could do two activations of Perforos. My Atroxa deck is mainly just a reason to play the Phyrexian Praetors, eh? That's some powerful stuff, man. Wow, Terror of the Peaks, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that would have been uh, instant speed fought against Questing Beast, too. <laughs> better, better believe it. All right, dude. Thank goodness. At least we got that. All right, and two lands. That's pretty good. Um, we we still have to pass. I can't kill a. I can't kill Terror of the Peaks here. Uh, Tail Swipe does give plus one plus one if we cast it during our main phase. All right, this is about to get ugly, boys. Cause they could put like Ulmog down right now. Oh wait, uh, Red Creature. Never mind. Yeah. Um. Looks like we're uh, looks like we're done there, right? I'm pretty sure that's a uh, 12, 16 right there. Yes, yeah, so that's a good game. Oh, cool, man! Yeah, nice. He could drop a land. Uh, I think it would be. I think he has to do that after. Um, he has to do that after um, combat, though. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I'm pretty sure I've screwed that up plenty of times before. Yeah, so, I mean, even though he won now, he wouldn't get the extra combat phase out of uh, Moron here. Because I, I don't know exactly how it works, to be honest. I just knew that, know that I screwed it up a couple of times, and then I had to look it up. Um, I think, basically, what happens is... Um, hang on. If it's your main phase, there's an additional combat phase after this phase. Okay, I think what happens is the additional combat phase actually happens before your normal combat phase. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what actually happens there. Um, yeah, so this combat phase he had now. I I'm trying to kind of make sense of it myself so that I can actually learn it. Okay, so at the beginning of the combat that actually just happened that ended the game, he untapped all of his creatures. So then what would have happened is... He would have then immediately after that had his real combat phase, which would not start with untapping his creatures. So he, I guess he would get an extra combat phase, but like since all of his creatures would tap, the, the game would just automatically uh, flip through that. I, I uh, screwed that up a few times before I uh, realized what happened. I mean, well, I guess I didn't even realize what happened. I had to freaking look up what happened. Wow, a tally. You know, this is actually going to be a matchup where Wicked Wolf might be good, but I'm kind of feeling like taking Wicked Wolf out for, uh, what's it called, Toski. Let's, uh, I wonder if Guardian, Pro I mean, we do have 30 creatures. It's not super a lot, but, you know, it's still good. Um, let's go ahead and take this, I think. We do get turn three Commander or turn three Guardian Project. Unfortunately, we're going second against freaking Ramp Play Big Thing here. Jeez. Wait. 
Wait, bro, you special? Uh, hang on, it's a snow land, so let me go get the, uh, yeah, let's go get the dual land. Yeah, man, that's, that's some crutch shit right there, man. Scale of greeters first, buddy, you know that, right? I mean, you're doing great, um, I mean, that only lets you get two mana out of one of your lands there. Yup, yup, you definitely want to attack, yup, good man, good man. Alright, um... That could be this for X equals two, and then Llanowar Elves. That could be Questing Beast swing in, and then uh, hit the Nissa for a decent amount of damage, right? Because they would only be able to block it with the Forest, but it wouldn't kill Nissa, which is kind of an issue. Um, Hungering Hydra wouldn't do anything now. I, I think it's honestly Questing Beast. Like, is he really going to block it with the Forest? You know? Hey, he's not losing Nissa, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Like, it's really fine. Yup, yup, he gets to go do that. Uh, okay, a little bit of a delay there. Ooh, Sky Shroud Ambush, yeah, he... I mean, you gotta be careful with that, man. That has death touch. I mean, that's fine, right? Because, I mean, he's putting half of commander tax down now. He gets the treasure token here. Are you stupid? Jesus, okay. I see why he's playing a tally, man. He's fucking idiot. What? Did I miss something there? Okay, he also got the treasure. Okay, I was like, what the hell? I must have missed that somewhere. Okay, my bad. I apologize. Oh, man, I was like, what? No treasure token? All right, he already made. My bad, my bad. I was going to say, like, what? Uh, you know, we're probably about done here, to be honest. Like, well, what are we going to do? You know, we're going to drop this for maybe X equals, like, it has to be X equals two, at least, right? So that way we can fight next turn with this. We're, we're really screwed on the mana. That's very unfortunate. Um, I might want to just drop this at X equals three and then hope to be able to uh, do something next turn with it. I'm kind of feeling miserable that that's all I can do. Another thing I guess I could have done is done X equals 2 and Llanowar Elves. That next turn, maybe I could do Inscription of Abundance. Thing is, though, like, is Llanowar Elves going to live when they have a pretty good likelihood to uh, cast a fight spell off the top of our uh, deck? Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. All right. Because um, this is going to die. Whenever it's dealt damage, put that many plus one, plus one counters on it. But that's going to trigger when it's dead. Yeah, that's it. Uh, we're we're not gonna do we're uh, fucking handcuffed here. All right, I'm gonna go um, take out. I think what? Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, the Wicked Wolf for Toski. I'm, I'm actually very curious about that because you know the more uh, card draws there, the better. Although I wonder if Guardian Project could come out for Toski. I, I wonder, man. I wonder. Or maybe Guardian Project could really just come out for like another little ramper, you know. Maybe a uh, armored scrap gorger could be pretty good, right? Because um, do I have graveyard eight in here? Do I even have one thing that's graveyard hating in here? I thought I had one thing. I guess not. Okay. Um. So that for Toski, eh, is that it? Do I want to take out Guardian Project for a ramp card? I, I don't know. I might want as many ramp thingies as possible, but or draw things as possible. Maybe I take out Anger of the Gods for a ramp thing. So let's say um, Toski could be a First one, and let yeah, armored scrap gorger is feeling pretty good here. A R M O R E D, armored scrap gorger. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling the Toski here. Let's see how it goes. All 
I mean, plus one, card draw things. Feeling good about that. I mean, if nothing else, maybe occasionally, it, you know, survives fights against things with one toughness and lives since it has indestructible. I was thinking about putting Basilisk Collar into this deck. That's the um, equipment artifact that gives Death Touch and Lifelink. Obviously, those are both extremely good with fighting. Wow. Um, wow. Mm. That's very tempting. I'm going to try it. That's just, like, really tempting. Super de duper de tempting, man. Oh, wow. Mindstone. Okay, so I don't have to do some weird desperation play with Arnie Slays the Troll. Let's go ahead and uh, attack. Arcane Signet. We're going to go ahead and uh, cap attack wrecker that one. Uh, so let's start by attacking. Make sure to pay with that one. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, as long as it didn't screw it up, it actually didn't even ask me. All right. Right, I feel good about that. All right, delay the uh, commander by a turn. Build a goose. Okay. That'll be a fight. Hopefully we draw a land here. That's actually super de duper de incredible. I'll just hit that. Um, let's do a green, green, and red. Let's do you. Okay, thank goodness gracious. Um, let's hit the uh, fight spell, see if it actually works. All right, Omen of the Sea. This is a food, so it looks like we're, we'll resolve here. That's good. Also, we took another mana away from them. Wow. All right, doesn't have a death touch counter. It'll still trigger the ability, whatever. Oh, wow. We're just going to fight everything he has. From your graveyard to your hand. Okay, that's Gilded Goose, I guess. Or, oh, no, it's that. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and hit uh, Domri, I think. I should have tapped uh, Mind Stone, actually, so that we could keep this open. Uh, wow, Reliquary Tower. Not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, double your power. All right, we lose two power with this, but then we gain four, so that's good. All right, uh, hang on. This is going to come in and be able to fight. That's incredible. That's so frustrating. You know what? I should have actually paid with this, though. I, uh... I didn't miss lethal, I think, but I should have paid with this, so that way at combat, when it would ask me to, uh, pay two and the, uh, yeah, I would actually be able to, right? Yeah, unfor I kept myself from doing that. That's just frustrating for the poor. I, I feel bad, dude. He freaking Signet, and then, um... Gilded Goose, and then freaking Yarrick with the indestructible here. Jesus Christ, if that match wasn't spoon-fed to me. <laughs> Good God, man. Poor guy. I deserved it, though. I just got my butt whooped freaking twice in a row. <laughs> or was it three times? Droxa, then Itali. Was there something else in there?
Wow, Urabrask. Okay, well, that's probably going to have a lot of uh, little burn spells, so I don't know how good our uh, little dorks are going to do. Um, this is two lands, and then we get this down, and that's really not enough. I don't know how good this is going to do. It can kill the uh, the young Pyromancer, but we need to get two lands to be able to get this or a commander, so that's a mulligan. I mean, we can keep this, but hmm, maybe I can't really, because this is just going to drop dead, right? Jesus Christ, dude. At least it's three lands. So I'm going to keep it and get rid of Ravager Worm, but we have to get a little fortunate. But, like, at least it's three lands. The other two were two apiece, so that was a little uh, unfortunate there. All right, let's go. All right, that's extremely good. I think we're going to do Toski here. As you know, I mean, we're up against Urabrask, so, I mean. Alright, they're just going to win right now. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill that thing, unfortunately. Um, unless if I drop Halan and Elena, I guess. Now, I'm still not going to be able to win. But at least I can put some uh, counters on Toski there, and then it doesn't really matter, so... Yeah, unfortunately, if we had a one-mana fight spell, we could do it here. But yeah, we're probably just going to watch them uh, go off with Urabrask. He's doing that to our face instead of to uh, Halan and Elena. Wow. Alright, alright, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, String only does it to the creature. Yep, yeah, okay. Damn, too easy for Urabrask, damn. Yep, we won't be able to get Kogla in in time for cha to kill it until Chapter 3, it looks like, unless we get real lucky there. Um, so, the Treasure Tokens is going to be pretty good. Fortunately, they only have one card in hand. Um, we probably want to hit Naith, I would assume. Let's start by attacking, right? Let's start by attacking, see what we get. Because if we get a, a, a land top deck here, then I'll drop Kogla. It has to be a green land, I guess. Okay, fine. Let's go ahead and hit um, Naith or Toralf, because Naith really does have only three toughness. The only reason I did that is because of the four toughness versus three. That's it. They can still sacrifice the Mind Stone for an extra draw. It might not be the worst thing since they just made those treasures. I really wanted to get Kogla down there. Okay, it still died. I might want to sacrifice the Mind Stone here, right? Because we have five lands. Right, so I might want to sacrifice the Mind Stone for another chance at uh, freaking actually dropping Kogla. Come on, dude. Okay. Well, let's start by attacking, see what we get. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see what exactly is this. From any graveyard. Okay, great. Um, we're going to have to do uh, 1, 2, 3, 4... Yeah, we, we can't even do the freaking this thing. Ah, oh, that really sucks. I guess the right play was to do Naith, let it die, and then um, drop this one, right? Because at least then I'd be able to... Um, oh, that's sorcery speed. Yeah, I, th I think that's it. He can just cast everything from his uh, from his grave. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, that's too bad. We really needed that. Uh, we really needed that third source of green, dude. That's too bad. That's really too bad. Jesus, dude. Okay. Wow. Damn, dude. With the Mind Stone extra draw, too. We just got freaking mountains. Oh, man. 
Damn, man. All right, let's get into the next one, man. Damn. That hurt. Oh, that hurt. Got a bunch of extra draws with Toski, too, man. I mean, maybe only like two or three or something, but you know, definitely more than zero. Jesus, dude, I'm running 39 lands. All right. Uh, what's their commander? Isn't it weak? Yeah, one three. So crawl harpooner. Wait, but it only fights a creature with flying. Shoot, right? That's not a flyer. I probably have to get rid of this hand. Yeah, I mean, it's three lands and it has a dork and it has this. I've, I've got to keep this one. It'd be criminal not to, man. be pretty incredible if uh, Drover lived. What I'd really like, honestly, is to get this one down, because it has some recursion. Right? When it dies, or is put into exile from the battlefield, blah, 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 blah. I think that's just Naith and then pray for it. Kind of just hope that they uh, drop their commander here. <laughs> Not convinced that's really going to happen. Yeah, they're reading Naith now. I don't know if they're really going to drop their commander now. They're like, oh, look, it wants to fight my commander. Oh, look, it has the stats to kill it. Yeah, I don't know if they just dropped their commander here. Have to assume no. But, if Drover lives... Alright, are they just killing both of them then? I was going to say, if Drover lives, we can get down... Um, God Eternal Ronus. Alright, do we have a Death Touch here? This has Death Touch. Alright, that has Death Touch. So we got to think about that. Um, It's probably Arnie Slays the Troll. I, I have to feel like it's Arnie Slays the Troll here. Right, get a get a draw. Not a bad top deck there. Not the greatest thing, not the worst. Um chapter two Arnie slays the troll adds a red mana. Alright, this could sacrifice another creature at instant speed to get indestructible. Alright. So, we might want to fight it just because then they can sacrifice the Death Toucher, right? And at least we'll survive the uh, the um, fight against this when it's a 4-4. Four, four. So, I think we pretty much gotta do that. Um, so, let's hit uh, Prey Upon, right? It's the least amount of mana. Let's do it. Uh, boom. Fight that. I would assume they want that to live, so they'll sacrifice the Death Toucher for us. It becomes 4-4. Four, four. We still survive the fight. Uh, ooh, you know what? Shoot, I didn't even realize. Yeah, yeah I should do this. My bad, my bad. I didn't even see that. I, sh I, I should have been on top of that. I should have known the whole time that was exactly what would happen. Okay, my bad. Alright. Still, we got it, we got it, we did it. We're so lucky that they don't have removal, though. We're actually very lucky. Uh, okay, there it is. There it is. Okay.
Okay, they took the Death Toucher back. I would assume we want to get down God Eternal Rose and pass the turn. Even though it doesn't matter that we uh, doubled the power of each other creature we control and they gain Vigilance, of course, but it is a 5-5 Death Toucher. And if we fight it up against their Death Toucher, it has Recursion. It goes back into our library, third from the top. I demand. Hmm. Damn, man. Um. Should probably. Let's see. Do I want to get this one down? Because then when I attack Loth, we can get a, a card from the block, right? Let's, uh. We don't need to drop that yet. All right, yep, they uh, they kill it. We get a card, though. We like cards. That's actually not bad, since we wouldn't be able to uh, cast anything with the Stomping Grounds anyway. Might as well just drop this one tapped. Uh, yep, put it in library, third from top, because we like God Eternal Runes very much. So if Naeth can survive, that would be, like, incredible. Hopefully they can't recur and then cast Plague Crafter here. Come on, dude. Jesus, not all right. Okay. Subservience will be a reward. Oh, I guess I should have had Clothis down for this one. All right, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Um, let's uh, let's see if I need that later. Uh, I don't know if I want to drop Nath right now. We do have a fight, but we'd have to keep it around for a turn, you know, and then we could start profiting with fights. Do I want to get Clothis down now? I might honestly, I might want to just get Nath. I don't, I don't know what I have that's better. I guess I could drop this and then. Fight it with inscription, but like I don't know how good that is. Uh, target that. <laughs> All right, dude. Yeah, we're uh, I think we're pretty. Ah, oh, man. All right, I guess Clothis would have been pretty good there, although. Clothis is Sorcery Speed Graveyard Heat that also triggers, uh, what is it? Uh, our upkeep or pre-combat main phase, I don't remember when, but it's Sorcery Speed and at a preset time, it's only one, so it's entirely possible that we would have never gotten, um, we would have never gotten the, uh, the actual removal on their Plague Crafter there. Damn, man. Ugh, you know, we got very fortunate at the beginning that they didn't have removal, but then, damn, they, uh, Plague Crafter and some nice recursion for it. Damn, man. This guy's name is Fartalot. Okay. Kind of a weird name, to be perfectly honest. All right, fart a lot. Good play. Really cool art, though, there. Uh, this one. That. All right. Um, I think we'll go cultivate here, honestly. Let's see, you get, uh, I'll just get, a uh, two greens, I don't care. It, it looks like it doesn't really matter, considering we have the pathway here. The reason I thought it might be better to, uh, do Cultivate here over the Commander is because we have Tamios, so, um, we can play the Commander and protect it. Ah, 
I would assume they're going to have the land to drop Tiamat next turn. That's going to be a royal pain in the rear. So let's hit uh, this one. And that's going to be past turn. Uh, oh, yep. Now it's going to be past turn. It'd be awesome if you missed the land. We're going to highly doubt it. They have five cards in hand, but it would be really nice if you didn't just go straight into your thing. Doesn't really matter. Uh, it, probably Questing Beast. Uh, hand, yup, and we have to exile a card, right? Or discard, whatever. Uh, let's get rid of that one. Alright, so with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands, we'll be able to do Naeth, double this thing to eight. This will be a three when it attacks also. We should be able to kill Sarkon with the questing beast hit. So, like, at least it's going to filter them a card, but we should be able to kill that thing unless they can hit questing beast here. That should not be able to um, block questing beast, but we can also fight that just for the card, right? Because we're not going to have lethal damage by um, doubling questing beast, right? Let me see. Uh, this would be eight. This would be three. That's 11. So yeah, we won't have lethal, so we might as well get a fight off. Um, is there any sorcery speed? No. So we'll just do uh, this right fast. Uh, that's good, but we're just going to uh, attack. Can't afford that. Oh, shit, shit. You know what? I probably shouldn't have done that. That was... Oh, shit. That was my bad. So we miss out on the instant speed fight. A dragon would rather die than lose. Uh, pass turn. Shoot. I don't know if that was worth it. Let's see. Um this on the field, how much will we have? 1, 2, um, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we can do um, this for x equals 6 and then fight it. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to win this one. Right, um, six, seven, eight, nine, so we would need to only use seven mana for the, okay, all right. Yeah, we, we can't swing through that even with Questing Beast. Okay, all right, wow, we got, we got fortunate though, we got a chance there when he, uh, when he missed out on a couple of land drops, but uh, man, what did he set up with was good enough already. He got the uh, the nice red dragon orb there, so he could cast freaking uh, old Gnawbone with freaking haste. Damn, not bad. The Elder Kami War, whatever that five color en uh, enchantment saga was really nice too. I mean, sure, we got Tamio's safekeeping to uh, counter the, uh, the first chapter of that. That was definitely nice. Come on, dude. I'm getting my ass whooped. You just set me up against this fucking jerk off. I'm getting pooped on, man. Come on, come on. Give, give me a break, man. Ah, uh, let's say. Uh, I, I didn't, we, we have to pray for Drover is the thing, but I'm going to keep it. Because, honestly, it's a Troxa and I don't care. So, if they kill Drover and we don't get the land to hit Cultivate, I'll just quit.
Um, this one into cultivate would be ideal. Let's see if we can get that. That'd be pretty incredible. I see uh, good mana capacity for them next turn. Possibly Atroxa. Uh, let's hit uh, cultivate here. Ali, hell yeah, man, what's good? Yeah, Ali, honestly, like, when I, I'm sorry, but, like, I know I give him the shieldred shush, but, like, you're gonna hit me with hello, like, that's nice of you, but, like, what, what, what are you playing, you know, so, like, your words are nice, but, you know, it's like, what are your actions, man, you know, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, drop that one, I think we probably want to, uh, get this one down, that's gonna be, a. Uh, Unfortunately, a past turn. If they hit their land drop here, that'd be five, six, seven. They could drop a Troxa. And there'd be no reason not to because they would have two cards in hand after the land drop. Uh, it really is just a reason to scoop, man. Wow, okay, okay. So they missed their land drop, but they get it with that thing. That's pretty cool. And that has flashback, so they'll use that on a Troxa next. Ooh, hang on, hang on a second, hang on a second. Can I do Toralf into a fight with Tailswipe and then knock out his creatures? I might be able to knock out his creatures with the Toralf thing here. Let's see if we can get the Toralf chain reaction. Come on, don't have all the fucking answers. Um, he has that thing at instant speed, though, which is a problem. So, um, that is a problem that he has that at instant speed. Because um, I'm just going to do this, and then he's going to essentially counter it, right? Uh, let's fight this guy. I would assume now he just does that on Lanawar Elf, and he cancels our fight. Jesus. Yep, so now they come back. Um, I have to assume he drops a Troxa, given that he has all the stuff there. So we're, we're not really... Uh, unfortunately, yeah. That thing having flashback was uh, really nice for him. So let's just get out of there. It's it, it was pretty well played. I'll give him that. It was definitely pretty well played. But yeah, let, let, let's get out of that one. It's just a, another game against the Trucks. I'm really hoping um, with Lord of the Rings, like you mentioned, Michael, honestly, it's not about the Lord of the Rings set. I really hope they put a Trucks in Hell Tier there. <laughs> Man, you guys, I'm telling you, a Trucks, they're going to have to completely revamp that deck list. Because if a Trucks goes into Hell Tier, think about how much control is in Hell Tier. And a Trucks is a seven cost commander that. The, uh, that every Teferi and Nickel Bolas is going to see coming from several football... Come on, dude. With you fucking pricks. Why? Come on, man. Um, we can probably keep this hand, though. I mean, it's a good hand. And Ali Mustafa. Yep, Thursday is early. Access for streamers. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. You won't be catching me begging Wizards of the Coast to do them favors, though. Uh, big fat, I don't know if I can, I, I, it would take a long time for me to be able to bring myself to talk to people who I don't think are doing a good job on this game. Uh, let's go ahead and hit that, that, pass turn. Pretty nice that we got a source of green there, because we do have triple green silverback elder there. Yup, curse of silence, uh, probably on Naeth, of course. Yup, yup, very good. All right, well, preventing us from uh, getting Nath down right now. Very nice. So we just dropped that one down. And, uh, you know, it would be nice if we could get a fight with it. But if we can get Burn Down the House down and then get those Devils killed, we could ping Ranging Raptors with those Devils, right? Because when they die, they deal one damage to any target, which is kind of cool. Um, this isn't going to really make a difference right now. So honestly, I'm kind of feeling Burn Down the House. He said, Atroxa just feels like a four-color Niv. Oh, I forget exactly what Niv does, but I'm, I'm sure you're correct. Tasha. Yup, whenever our stuff attacks, we put a minus one, minus one counter. Although, hang on a second. 
Do I want them to die so that I can ping ranging raptors and get a whole lot of uh, lands on the field? Is that going to be good? Is that going to be good to sacrifice these devil tokens to doing that? I think it might be. Right? Let's, let's drop Oracle right now and see if we can get lands off the top. Okay, we don't. One, two, three. It does not matter. They're going to die. We're going to ping Ranging Raptors with each one of them and get three lands out of it. Grab a, a bunch of forest there. Oh, that's the one with the multi or the cards that are exactly two colors. Yeah, ETV. Put one of each guild color into your hand. From yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We might want to get one red too, just in case we happen upon fiery Emin. Sipishin. I think that was worth trading Ranging Raptors, right? I mean, considering we're up against the Troxa, who Ranging Raptors is not going to be able to block. Yeah, I would say a Troxa feels a whole hell of a lot. Oh, okay. Okay. Jesus, dude. <laughs> Alright, fucking prick. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, we made the right decision. Yep, very good card, very good card. Casualties of War. That definitely just made me <laughs> one of his casualties of war there. Woo! Boy, man, we getting, uh, we get freaking brutalized, but thank you guys for uh, being here with me. I, I know people probably want to uh, watch people win, you know, but, man. It's tough, man. We're on the wrong side of freaking power creep here, man. Woof. That's why whenever I see people running, like, you know, fun commanders that are, once again, on the wrong side of power creep, I always, you know, give them, like, a little bit of a shout-out, a little bit of the tip of the fedora, you know? Because, like, you know, seriously is the audacity of fun, like... You, you do get punished for trying to do the right thing in this game. We got Vivian here. That's nice. We got two lands. That does suck. Arnie Slays the Troll can give us an emergency um, red mana on Chapter 2. But I don't know if we can really keep this hand. We can keep this one. You know what? Better than dropping both of these on turn one, we or one of these on turn one, we should probably drop both of them on turn two. Oh yeah, Ali, I saw um, yeah, I I saw a legacy thing. I almost never watched that um, but I I saw some guy talking about it shortly after it came out. Yeah, how he was putting a trox into. I honestly don't even remember what it is at that point. But yes, I did see that happen in a video. It's pretty crazy that they're replacing a uh, mono black Atroxa with four color Gristlebrand, though. Okay, with five mana here, what are we going to do? You know what? I probably should have done this. Um, we could get this down. It's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, Cultivate might be good, though. They're not really going to have any flyers out on the field, so dropping C Crawl Harpooner out is going to be fine. Like, I, I, yeah, their commander does put the 4-4 uh, four, four Flying Angel onto the field, but of course it's sacrificed at the end of turn, so... So I, I think we'll just drop that to have some, you know, actual power when we attack.
Yep, mono black Atroxa is Gristle Brand is Gristle Brand and uh four color Gristle Brand is Atroxa. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, should I do that right now? I think we might want to, uh... Hey, you know, we could go Naith and then attack with this and force them to block. No, I can't, because it costs six right now. You know what? Maybe we should try this, see if we get a land off the top. Although, then I wouldn't be able to drop Naith. I kind of think I want to try Naith. They do have the one, um... The one blah, 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 island open for the possibility of what's it called. All right, uh, we drop that. Uh, yeah, let's attack with that. I highly doubt they block. So let's see if they can power up their Geist. Okay, is that its abilities can't be activated? Okay, it has triggered abilities though. So that's gonna be fine. Invasion of Theros, nice. And they get to swing right in at that and uh, flip it over. What is it? Oh, wow. Whenever another enchantment enters the battlefield, draw a card and they have light paws out to really help with that. Okay, they're look they're looking really good right now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We do not have the Tarask next turn. That's sad. Very sad. We can force them to block with that, though. That's good. That's good. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That the ability to force them to block costs three. Hang on. So with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, I can drop this, go down to four. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we can drop this and have a chance at a land off the top. We don't get it. Wonderful. Uh, we do that. Uh, doesn't really matter. That. Boom. This. Okay, beginning of combat, this one, and they have to block that. Uh, I thought this couldn't block. Can't block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. Oh, okay, well then I'll attack, because they can't block it. Nope. It's all good, you're still doing fine, dude. But at least he's not drawing big cards off of this. So he won't get a never-freaking-ending stream of cards, essentially. Wow. Jesus, alright. He'll be able to flip that right over. Okay, it's a Flying Vigilance. That's good, that's good. Okay, you might want to get that one to... Oh, you want them both to attack? Alright, alright. Jesus. I mean, we probably have to hit the Tarrasque, right? And go for Light Paws here. And then, let's see. We'll take 7, 11, roughly, next turn. Uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, let's attack with that. I think we have to kill Light Paws here. Right, because it's going to keep getting them freaking big, huge enchantments. Can I please get a land off the top? Thank you. Thank you. We can drop that and then fight the 4-4. Thank you. That's actually awesome. Double gangster, yeah, man. What's good? How we doing? Howdy. How? Oh, it's brutal, dude. It's brutal. Don't watch the first half hour of this stream. Although I think like the third game we did all right. It felt like a spoon feeding. But man, it's brutal, man. Loads of Atroxas too. 
All right, they're not wiping the board. I was afraid of a board wipe. It, this is going to be real bad with the Tarask. Because we get to double its power. Like, I don't know if they should have done that. Like, they might need an emergency blocker. For, it's coming in with 20 power here. And they will not be able to block with that 2-2. Two, two. They need to get rid of Naith right now. Sit here and make him wait. Let's go and grab a source of it. Doesn't matter. I just click the first one. Doesn't freaking matter. All right. Go to combat. Ability triggers. Boom. Pay. Uh, we we'll just attack with everything. Yep. Like, they're going to have to return all creatures somehow, because Tarask has Ward 10 since we casted it. All right, hey, hey, he took his lump, man. You got to respect that. Dude took his lump. Want to go against my Battle of Wits Brawl deck next? Yes, I do, Ollie. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Because it looks like they're just lining up. I'm telling you, man. Yo, I, I played freaking, uh, what, what's it called? Um... Minsk and Boo within the last, like, couple of days, right? And, like, I didn't face a single Atroxa, but now that I'm facing arguably a much weaker commander, because, I mean, Minsk and Boo is, like, ridiculously strong. I didn't face a single freaking Atroxa that night. If I did, I forgot about it, because I probably conceded out of the game pretty fast, and it was only one. I swear to you, by the end of that stream i was sitting there with my tinfoil hat on talking about how they were protecting atroxas from me today i have a weaker commander than that and they are lining up the atroxas to sit here and eat me alive but i i swear to you boys i swear to you boys i might be wearing a tinfoil hat on that one but you know what i think the tinfoil hat on this one's a good look i swear to you in what world do i have a three hour stream and i don't face a single atroxa Usually I face them twice in a row, multiple times, and sometimes three in a row. And by the way, boys, just just like I'm just waiting for a uh, uh, Ali. Although honestly, I, I should probably my bad. You know, I should probably start a game here. It'll probably be against the Trox anyway, so I'll just uh, quit out whenever I uh, see you, my man. Up, oh, yep, he has to update arena. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, sorry, I, uh, it took a moment there. All right, let's get let's get right into another game here. I swear to you, man. I swear to you, they, they're protecting those people. I mean, they're already protecting Atroxa. Like, is it in health here? It's kind of... I feel like it's an early bird special. You know what I mean? Like, put your rare wild cards into it now. Not only into the commander, but obviously whatever cards are good with it. And, like, we'll set you up with easy wins. You know what I mean? Kind of like an unspoken weak, weak nudge, nudge. I, like, it's got to be, right? I'm not sitting here with the tinfoil hat here, am I? Okay, you know what? We have a pretty good deck against Slimefoot and Squee. The trick, by the way, I'm learning it, and I'm learning it painfully, but the trick is to kill the freaking 1-1 one -one Sapperling tokens. I can't take this hand, though. As much as I really want to, we actually only have a 5-cost creature. And, like, I, do I guess I could cycle this, but, like, then I don't even have a fight, you know, to help with Season of... Damn, I it hurts me that I have to mulligan that hand, man. Do I take this hand? I mean, it does have Ronus, too, for the graveyard hit against Squee. I think I actually have to take this hand. Not gonna lie, that's incredible that he got this because it exiles my freaking goddamn Clovis. That, that makes me feel terrible right now. Uh, let's head into the north. Okay, let's grab uh, the dual land. Uh, where are you? Oh, my bad. <laughs> there you are. Double Gangster says, I'm going to play some Prismat. Oh, hey, give him hell, man. Give him hell. 
I haven't played Hell Tier for a long time, just because it like it sets me up against you know all the Teferis and Bolasses and stuff. All right, Slimefoot Squee, yup. I, I played like one Halana and Elena, and then I was like, oh shoot, this isn't Hell Tier. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, what am I gonna do here? Am I gonna do Naith? I probably should. It's either Naith or Ronis plus this. I I want to get cards though. So I think I gotta unfortunately roll the dice and pray for Naith. We all have to pray for Naith, boys. Prayers are stronger the more of us joined in prayer, so we gotta pray together. It's the first creature we've dropped on the field, so. Okay. The other choice was um, Runes the Indomitable plus Lanoir Elves. Probably what we're gonna do here. I can't drop. Okay, dude. Okay. Okay, just that in the grave. Yep, so Rose the Indomitable can attack or block right now, unless we control a creature with power 4 or greater. Rekindling Phoenix is a great card. That's no blocks. They have loads of Sapperling tokens, so it's going to be... Okay, that's actually kind of nice. Uh, not going to lie. I think we have to get Silverback Elder down so that we can start trying to get cards. It's either that or Gorgos, because Gorgos will be kind of nice when we do like a pounce, right? And then we get two fights, right? Do I do Silverback Elder or freaking Gorgos, dude? Because if I do Gorgos, if they try to kill it, at least I can fight, like, I don't know, Haywire Might, I guess. No attacks, I don't think. Yeah, no attacks. Yeah, that's a pretty good all attack there. Uh, we need to block that thing. Because otherwise I can't even put down... Um, then I take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're just fucking dead. Yeah, on four Wow, we, uh, we just clunked along way too hard with that one. Oh, shoot, right, the Zulaport Cutthroat. All right, well then, in that case, I guess I had to block Slimefoot and Squee and then give them the whole uh, recursion thing. Damn, man, unfortunately, that one just didn't happen, man. Oof. Wow, that was... Damn. That really too bad that we clunked the hardest there, dude. They're just feeding me to these people today. Jesus, dude. I mean, it happens, you know, Cest... La Vi. Ali said I use Silverback Elder to combo off with Citadel, like Bolas' Citadel. And I guess you keep casting creatures, but then you pay life for their cost, right? And then I guess you can keep gaining four life, and that's helping out. If that's what you mean, that's pretty cool. If that's not what you mean, I think that's still pretty cool. Uh, we pretty much have to take this hand. We don't have a fight, but, I mean, it's coherent. We use into the north for the uh, dual land. Or, you know what, we might as well drop this tapped, right? Yes, I'll, yes, you can also shuffle lands away. I love it when you're in a when you're in a scenario to pop off like, and you got things like Augur of Autumn or uh, Oracle of Muldai, Of course, that uh, you want to change the uh, top card. Oh yeah, silver. Yeah, God, <laughs> that's that's some dream scenario, man. That's a dream scenario. We're gonna drop a lance that we don't get the Oracle hit with a uh, Jawari disruption. Don't get the land off the top. 
Very sad. I'm not even attacking with Llanowar Elves. Okay, now I know that they're not going to flash in, what's it, like, Spectral Sailor? I, I was going to finish my sentence and say I'm not risking it dying to a flash creature. Alright, uh, I have to assume they're going to kill Naeth, but, like, what, what am I supposed to do here? Just put all my mana into Lair of the Hydra? Should I do that? It probably just gets killed, though, right? Is that better than having my commander countered? Right, yeah. Because the thing is, like, you know, Lair of the Hydra at this moment is, I guess, the sixth mana. Bushwhack is my only fight spell. Good fucking lord, dude. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we try to drop this. Yeah, I think we just try to drop that. Nod asked the uh, artifact and enchantment removal. Are, are you really just going to sit here land pass counter, dude? God, I fucking hate you so much. Man, I'm still I'm just thinking about popping off with Silverback Elder like that. Damn, when you're in the position to shuffle lands away off the top of the library, you're killing it, man. Oracle or Augur out. Oh god, that's so much fun, dude. Especially when you combine it with like draw mechanisms like the Great Henge, any type of trigger draws like that too. Probably should have cast your commit Oh, okay, hang on, I got a uh Okay, you probably should have cast your... Uh, yeah, uh, it was tough. You, you're probably right. Damn it, why isn't it letting me cast, dude? I, I guess it's going to sit here and uh, take a long time to start the game, and then um, maybe we'll wind up in a draw, like, immediately as the game begins. Can I, can I accept? Please finish the current match. Please finish the current match. All right, let me let me try to finish the current match. And let me hit escape. Let me try to. Good God, dude! I'm I'm gonna get you, gamer. I got you, but ah, uh, come on, dude. Why has it got to take away the cancel button here? We're not in the game yet. I mean, I know we're kind of in the game. I know what's happening here. It's just gonna start the game and draw. But like, why, dude? Why why do I have to sit here for like? Yep, I heard the uh, sound effect there. Game's already over. Hey, Europeans, they just, uh, <laughs> they just increased the prices for you guys. How you feeling? How y'all feeling about that? I feel good. I think they deserve it. I think they deserve more. Uh, let me hit you there. Um, I assume you want to play, um, Brawl. Sorry, yep, I got you, Ollie. Yep. Let me just, uh, there you go, Naeth, there you go, yep. All right, Ali, let's go. Attempsis, all seeing. All right, hey, I've got an acceptable hand here. Oh, I'm not just keeping this, I'm cherishing it. Okay, Soul Guide Lantern can exit or exile our graveyard there. Or he can just uh, use it to uh, get a glorified cycle. Probably wants to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, draw over the mighty. Okay, gets himself a nice cycle there. Nice. Very good. Ooh, that has hex proof now. Do I take this opportunity to drop my commander? 
I can do this for one and then Ronus the Indomitable as well. Or I can do this for one and then Clothis. That might not be the worst thing in the world either. Let's see what this is. L let me hit the poor dude with the thinking real fast as I sit here and... Man, uh... Might want to drop this, honestly. While I can actually get it onto the field. Because I might be able to fight, to force him to block with that. He he might want to attack with that. I mean, it's a flyer anyway. It's not like I'm going to block it, you know. He might want to attack with it just that I can't force him to block. Does it actually go through, though? Does the combat damage actually happen? We take it. We take it. Uh, Shadow Spear pass. Be awesome if that resolved. It might. He still has a mana open. But this thing gives hex proof. As long as it, oh, as long as it's untapped. Okay, that's why he didn't attack. Alright, Shadow Spear hits uh, and turn. First time playing this deck. All right, man. All right. That has to get Besaged. He gets a land in return, but, like, it's better than three capacity for mana. I don't think it really matters that I did that during his combat phase, because it's a blue deck. He'd be able to hit the instant speed, whatever, no matter what. Um... Hang on, I got I got to think about this one here, poor guy. Let me hit the thinking right fast. Is it Clothis? Because Clothis is going to be continuous damage. It could also be a fat Voracious Hydra. Um, we might want to save Voracious Hydra for that, though. Might be Ronus the Indomitable and Clothis and then attack. Oh, shit! Oh, look at the size of that pile of cards! I didn't even look at that! Oh, by the way, nice sleeves. I think those are great, man. I think somebody said that it's not accurate to Mana Confluence, but I, I just like the colors. I, I, I do appreciate that attention to detail, though. I, I like that. Um, we're just going to do this. Whip. Right there. Oh, shit, I fucked up. Oh, no, I can't attack with that. Oh, God, I'm a poo-poo. Oh, no, I couldn't attack with... I had to put that on Naeth. Oh, God, I feel so dumb. No, I, I can still attack. I can still attack. I can do it. I just have to double Naeth's power and toughness. All right, all right, I did it. I did it poorly. I screwed up. But now I can attack with Ronus. Okay, I, I screwed up royally there. I'm not attacking with the 1-1 just in case he flashes something funny in. I screwed up there. I should have attached the Shadow Spear here. Then I would have a creature with power 4 or greater. Right? Then I could attack with that. Then I could have uh, doubled this thing's power uh, to 10. Um, his are the Mana Confluence sleeves. It was in the uh, it was in the store within the last week. It's either like 50 or 60% off. I don't remember. Uh, yeah. It is a good deal. And I mean, they're, they're really nice sleeves. Yup, uh, that, yup. Who's he get rid of, though? Commander or Ronus? Mana Geode, okay, he's got three capacity for mana. One, two, three. He doesn't control a legendary creature or planeswalker yet. Okay, he still has one capacity for mana. All right, we're going to have to try to beat the snot out of him here. Uh, that. All right. Uh, I think we just go Voracious Hydra, right, as big as possible. Um, no, we don't even have to. Um, X equals uh, just one, honestly. Right, because now we just double, yeah, now we just double Naeth's power and toughness. 
Oh, I appreciate that. He even gave me the emote. That's uh, that's very nice of you, sir. Oh, man. Fedora tip back at you, man. I, I, I genuinely cannot remember if I've ever seen somebody run this, so I definitely have to tip my Fedora to you. Let me... You know, I'm... Be real, I didn't even finish reading this. Um, so draw two, then discard. Okay, cool. Whenever it deals damage to an opponent, you can reveal your hand. Okay... If cards with at least six different mana values are revealed this way, that player. Okay. Okay, Ollie. Jammed. Oh, freaking K, man. Oh, I guess I guess that's tied into the art of that creature, too, because look at its wings. It has six eyes. Art, uh, not Artemis. Atemsis. All-seeing... Revolving around six different... Jesus, dude. Cool. Freaking cool, dude. Ah, yes, and it is also six mana. Thank God its filter ability is not six mana. It's half of six mana. <laughs> I don't know. No, that would suck if its filter ability was six man. It'd still be a cool card, but that that's not good. No. Dude's rocking like freaking so many cards in that deck. <laughs> that pile of cards was like <laughs> getting close to starting to go freaking off of the screen here. What? 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 Alright, okay. Oh, Alright. Well, I just hope that it ended the game for that other guy and it isn't sitting there wasting his time. Yeah, absolutely! I I'm happy to see that, man. Absolutely. I was... Honestly, I had absolutely no problem facing that deck. That was freaking cool, man. I, I like it. It's, it's a cool thing. I didn't have to sit there and wait to beg permission. Not a lot of people are running it too, so I can tip my fedora to him for not sitting there, you know, and just copying and pasting the thing that wins so he can, you know, be carried to victory on the back of a deck in spite of himself. You know, that that's awesome. There are a ton of Ah, I just drew bad. Ah, okay, well then I gotta I gotta thank I gotta thank the goodness gracious that you drew bad. Sorry, <laughs> I do. Uh, we'll keep it. We'll try. Yeah, I wonder how many times you got the win con right. Definitely got to wonder. Very good top deck there, too. Uh, we really want to get Ranging Raptors down next turn, so... I think we have to go for the Signet here. The reason we're going for the Signet is because I think it has a higher chance to survive than Armored Scrap Gorger. And I guess the play is drop Ranging Raptors and then prey upon one of the um, tokens, the Sapperling tokens. He said never. <laughs> Game is hard, man. Game is freaking hard. You know, you might just need to draw up your whole deck with that thing somehow, right? I wonder how you could do that. I'm not saying I know how. Probably Seagate Restoration. Oh, shoot. My bad. My bad. My bad. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Right. Reliquary Tower. Maybe that new Jinja Taxius, because it got like triggered ability to draw a card. Probably that commander that you played the other day. Is it Gadwick? I don't remember. I called it Chadwick Bozeman. I don't freaking remember what it's called. Alright, the one with X and like three islands and its mana cost. Alright, uh, so this. Let's hit, uh, Ranging Raptors and then fight it. Might need to kill the Blood Artist, though. Although, yeah, I mean, he's getting so many um, of these. Like, we're just going to have to fight the Blood Artist. 
We'll go ahead and grab a red, because that completes triple red for um, a fiery. I'm in sippish. You know what? I'm an idiot. God damn it. I actually forgot. Shit. The enrage ability doesn't trigger when I fight something with zero power. Oh, damn it. Alright, that was stupid. Not gonna lie, that was dumb. He got Corvold out. Not gonna lie, that's actually pretty cool. Let me hit him with the, uh, with the, this one. That That is pretty sweet there. I like. I like! Uh, no blocks. Damn it. Ugh. I should have hit the sap. I, th I thought the, uh, you know, the blood arse was a good thing to get out of there. I, I think it's a good thing to get out of there, but I royally screwed up there. That's bad, dude. Uh, let's hit this one. Let's now, uh, not screw this up. Wow, I didn't screw it up. I'm, I'm amazing. Damn, I'm just so pissed off that I... Right, the enrage ability has to be dealt like damage. Damn it. All right, fiery M and Sipishin. I don't know if that's good for the next turn. I think we're probably just gonna lose because, like, Corvold is going to attack and deal us six damage in the air. I would imagine Slimefoot and Squee also attacks. That's nine damage. Ooh, now he's gonna get even more damage. He's got the sacrifice. So that's ten damage at least. So I don't see uh, I don't see us doing it with this one. I don't think if I had gotten the Ranging Raptors fight right, we would have won. Because I, I have to get like everything that I have here onto the field, you know. That's just not happening. Uh, so why don't we? We could. I guess we could block. We probably should. Yup, we'll just go ahead and grab the first one. It doesn't really matter. We're going to have to have, like, the most amazing top deck of all time. I don't even know what it is. Wow, so now he gets cards from Corvold. Beautiful. Jesus, dude. Might as well destroy my Signet. You really don't even have to, to be honest. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Shield counter on court. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Um, damn. I mean, this into this would be good, but, like, we're just not going to win, unfortunately. So, I guess Toralf is pretty cool, but, like, we're, we're not really actually doing it here. Uh, let's just pass turn. That's it. He just swings in with, uh with Corvold all on its own, so I, I think he's having a little bit of trouble here. Uh, so, good game. Yeah, damn, the Corvold is, uh, is lethal on its own there. Damn, good game to him. You know what it is, boys? Yesterday I was playing Jetmere. We had a winner stream yesterday. I, I just realized, I was, I was sitting here thinking, like, why is it punishing me? Did I win a lot? And then it occurred to me, holy shit. I actually did win a lot for freaking once. Yeah, so we're we're uh we're we're gonna get freaking rocked. I mean I don't have to tell you what's happening. And by the way, thank you guys for uh being here. I appreciate the talk too, cause <laughs> it kinda takes my mind off of uh off of my suffering. <laughs> First world problems. Hungering Hydra is good here. We it it you can't really play it for X equals one though, because um that b ability down at the bottom um when Hungering Hydra is dealt damage, put that many plus one plus one counters on it. Yeah, that's really cool. But like it takes the damage first, and then like it you know might die to the combat damage, and then that ability goes on the stack, possibly when it's dead. So like it's gonna be damn near impossible to uh you know get it growing for x equals one unless if you have some type of you know indestructible or whatever tamio safekeeping for it you know
Wow, Ali. Yeah, I have all of those in this deck. I was really hoping earlier to get a Toralf um, chain reaction going on, but unfortunately we just missed it. Do I keep this one, though? I think I have to, because the thing is, I don't... I My mulligans today have um, left me feeling not too thrilled about... Um, oh, yeah, we're not going to do X equals zero. My mulligans have left me not too thrilled about mulligan-ing. Alright, they get the signet. Nice, nice, good. Uh, not X equals one, Hungering Hydra. Alright, Karyatid is good here. Yeah, I'm feeling Karyatid, because Augur of Autumn won't get us a uh, land off the top of the library, of course, the turn that we... um. Drop it onto the f or the turn that we drop a land. Sorry, my bad there. Hatiova, Jesus. All right, will I be able to kill that? I mean, if I get a land and then I want to do uh, burn down the house, I don't know if I want to do that. Um, do we just do this for like X equals three, and then maybe next turn we fight? Mm, that's not really gonna work out. To be real, um. Might just have to go freaking nay if this kind of sucks. Not even gonna lie. Hey, you know what? I think we need the land drop. Honestly, I think we need the land drop so bad. That's worth it to do that. All right. Um. Yeah. You know what? Let's cycle this right now. We need the land drop bad. We have a fight. Oh, we have two fights in hand. I guess right. We, oh, you know what? Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Freaking gracious, man. Double Gangster said, I missed the stream yesterday. Maybe I'm the bad... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's it's uh, it's just the fact that uh, Big Fat MTG actually got Ws, man. Oh, man. I, I'd love to blame it on you. I really would. You know, let's be difficult. Let's be difficult. All right. Yep. Resolve. Go ahead and grab a red there, it looks like. So that way I don't have to freaking either pay life or tap the creature for a red. Whatever doesn't really matter we might have to uh hit a burn down the house i i don't know man i i don't know if i feel good about hitting the burn down the house though uh yeah yep, yep, okay did it really rope me did i take that long Hey, Billy! Hell yeah, man! Howdy back at you. What's going on? Yeah, you should definitely attack. Yeah, I'm not blocking. Yep, good play, good play. Oh, beautiful. So we get a reserve land in hand now. That's, like, incredible. We might want to do this for X equals... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ooh, I can't... X equals 5. It won't actually survive. Burn down the house. Um, X equals four, and then I can protect it with Tamios, I guess. I think we might want to do X equals four, protect with Tamios. Okay, well, he's got to make up his mind if he wants to counter that or not. All right, well, unfortunately, we're uh, doing a whole lot of nothing this game. That is pretty wild. I'm not going to um, attack with those, I don't think. Or block with those, sorry. So we'll just attack with that one. The Tamios might still be useful. All right, because I think... Wait, we didn't have a land on... Yeah, we did. Okay, okay, we did have a land. So it might be useful to keep the Augur of Autumn. At this point, we've really got to consider just suicide burn down the house.
Dude, just mash spacebar. I'm not attacking. I, I'm not blocking. Hey, there you go. Absolutely, man. Yup, okay, you got anything uh, post-combat? I would very much like it if you did. Another creature, so I could just burn down the house and everything. Alright, it doesn't get the other creature. Let's see what's down beneath that, though. Alright, um, let's go ahead and uh, do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I bait the counter with Sky Shroud Ambush? I probably have to, because I think I need to hit Burn Down the House. Like, need to hit Burn Down the House. Right? So let's uh let's uh do this. Yeah, it looks like he has a counter, thank you. Okay, but he actually lets that happen. We do draw a card here, that's nice. Uh, we probably just need to go for burn down the house. Like, I, I don't think I have a choice at this point. Alright, I think the dude had freaking everything this game. I think we're pretty much done, right? Because he's going to deal 7 damage. Well, I guess he won't because I can block with Augur. But, like, I think we're screwed here, right? Like, what, what am I going to do here, right? This for X equals 1? Like... Do, yeah, I can't even do that. Yeah, I'm, Jesus, dude. Our, okay, all right, buddy. Good play by him though, because he uh, he didn't take the baits. That was good, well played. But yeah, like, what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna block barely just to survive. And uh, yeah, then we're, we're not gonna do a whole hell of a lot here, really. So. Uh, yeah, let's just go. Unfortunately, there. Um, Jesus, dude. Okay, I get it. I won with Jetmir a lot. I get it. I get it. I, I'm playing something else now, man. It's the next day. Come on. I, I lose more often anyway. Come on, man. Just let me have had that one night with Jetmir. I got to get punished for that. All right, definitely seen this guy before. We're actually going first. You love to see it. Uh, but this... Ugh, come fucking on, dude. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely take it. Yep. And we'll thank the, uh, the good lord that it is relatively coherent. Yeah, that's the one I meant. Yep, that, that one. That's what I meant. Alright, hit that one. So now we uh, would really like the land drop so we can get our uh, commander down, especially when they're tapped out here. Well, tapped out of blue man. So fucking naturally we don't. Alright, dude. Um, let's just go ahead and equip this, honestly. It doesn't matter. It just taps our mana. They have something in their graveyard to get anyway. I don't feel like doing Arnie Slays the Troll yet, or... Yeah, so... Jesus, dude. Okay. It's the Cascade one, but it does have one tough. Okay. All right. All right. So the good news is that Armored Scrap Gorger can fight their commander and live. Fuck you, dude. Yeah, because we can't even get that with... Uh, we can't even get that with Jesus. Okay. 
All right, I get it, man. I won yesterday. I get it. I won some games. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Although, you know, I really wonder if even if we had played a great game, would we have been able to get Coma there? Like, would we really have been able to beat them even with a great game there? Yep, nice. I like the art for that one. Vivian will be very good. We can get to that right fast. We got a shot at getting a fast Vivian here. Uh, let's hit the rootbound crag there into the north, right? It feels good. Yep. Okay, that is quite a good start. Okay, yeah, we 100% drop Vivian. I thought we'd go and try anything cheeky now. Beasts are much more reliable than people. sometimes restoration means retribution. I'm hoping that that was the right decision because if they miss a land drop, okay, okay, I get it, man. I get it. Everyone's doing perfect. Yup, nice, okay. Yep, 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 good stuff. Plus, let's see what we get. We don't really need a land since we have... Okay. It might be God Eternal Ronus, honestly. Although, this just minus six is next turn next... Anyway, right? I, I think it still might be God Eternal Ronus. Just to have something on the field... Oh, okay, wow, they want to minus six her and keep it alive. Uh, prevent all damage that would deal, yup, okay, nice, yup. I get it, bro, everyone's gonna have a perfect game against me. So what's my favorite card flavor? Wow, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's gonna be tough, that's gonna require thinking, and I, I cannot multitask at all. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get you though. Uh, let's uh, start with Vivian. See what we get here. My newest friend. Uh, that's big good. That's definitely big good. Because we could probably. Um, can we get that in at Tasha here? Nah, we can't. That's gonna take a little while to get in at Tasha with that thing. Uh, we can fight their commander with it though, which is big good. So we probably should do that. I don't see why not. Uh, gains Trample and Haste, or, yeah, honestly, we should probably get Trample and Haste fight their fight, uh, Tasha here. Uh, sorry, let me, uh, take that one off, because it's not going to deal any damage anyway. Yep, Kago gets minus, but do they want to block it with their commander? Tasha still lives! But even if they block here, Tasha goes down to five, and it can't minus six next turn. I can find my way out of any predicament. Don't come any closer. Well, Ali, I wonder what yours is or what anybody's card is flavor-wise. Damn, man. I used to like this card. It's probably one of my all-time favorite illustrations called so. um, a tog a tog. I I don't know if that really counts as flavor. Oh. I don't know if it really counts as flavor-wise, but like there were these creatures called a togs, and like the idea was that they eat things. 
um, like artifacts, enchantments, because you sacrifice stuff to them. Uh, we're going to block that, right? I think we prevent the damage that it deals, or they prevent the damage that it deals, whatever, but we still prevent that uh, attack, so that's good. Um, okay, hang on. Sorry, I, I, I can't keep talking. But yeah, the Atogs eat stuff, and then Atog Atog was a creature that ate other Atogs. Um, so I thought that that one was pretty cool. Uh, that's a huge one to get there, because we can definitely do that X equals 4. Uh, hell, we can do X equals 5, right? Because I'm not going to be able to attack with this, right? They did the Tasha thing here, so let's do X equals 5 here. Uh, 5... What's this? Is this going to ult? Uh, I think we have to kill uh, Teferi. Let me know if you're up for round two. Yeah, Oratog and Psychotog. Yeah, Psychotog was part of a freaking world championship deck. I still have the gold-bordered version of Carlos Romao, or I don't know how you pronounce the A with the tilde over it, but um, I still have the gold-bordered version of his uh, his freaking deck, man. Wow, the Planeswalkers, dude. I would I, I would assume he's going Super Friends here. Uh, the other will be Exile. Put one of them into their hand. Uh, you, you go ahead, dude. You can take that one. All right, we've got to get an actual, like, giant freaking, like, thing on their Planeswalkers here. This is huge because it has haste. Dude, Vivian is carrying this whole game, is she not? I What a what a queen. I, I love Vivian. Uh, we might want the uh, land here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can do Ravager Worm. Um, I can do Signet into Ravager Worm, I guess. I'm I'm kind of feeling Signet Ravager Worm. Let's uh let's tap this. So I don't screw it up here. That. Uh. Does he have any lands with a uh, mana ability with a ability that isn't a mana ability? Activated ability. Oh, cause that has cycling. Ooh, we get a land destroy. That's huge. That's huge. That's nutty, man. Uh, let's see. Uh. You could kill this. Do they have the Tasha thing going on here? Yeah, okay. So that's going to deal 4 damage. That's fine. This is going to deal 5 damage. Um, so we can get that on a... We might want to kill this thing so that they can't drop Teferi next turn with the minus 1, right? Yeah, they can keep the, uh, they can keep the freaking annoying Gideon. Oh, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This kills Tasha. Uh, this one kills this yeah let's uh let's get rid of that one i think we're good here oh wait it's whenever you attack tasha oh i, I thought they were all gonna get that i i didn't even read it there okay i actually screwed up multiple times with that all right it's only when it attacks y you or um you or a freaking Tasha plane? Ah, oh, damn it. Hang on, hang on. I, I need to read that to get it through my freaking thick skull. Until your next turn, whenever a creature attacks you or Tasha, not you or a freaking goddamn planeswalker. Okay, so I I should have uh, not sent both of those big creatures at, uh, you know, the same planeswalker. Okay, I should have sent those at two different planeswalkers to be more efficient there. I, and you said Elspeth's Nightmare is yours. I, I don't know what uh, Elspeth's Nightmare is. Actually, let me just... Uh, real fast. I mean, instead of having you type it up... Um, let me just check out that card really fast. Um, I, have to, I don't know what colors it is, so I'll just pull up a, uh, a five-color deck really fast. All right, let's... Uh, Let's put in Elspeth's Nightmare. Is that actually in Arena? Because I know Arena doesn't have uh, <laughs> probably anywhere near the uh, Commander card pool. So if that's a Commander card, I have no freaking idea. But I, I feel like I Elspeth 
else, Beth? And then how about the uh, that? Uh, oh, wait. I might not have it yet. Let's hit not collected there. Um, Elspeth's nightmare. Okay, cool. All right, let's see what let's see what you like here. All right, so destroy target creature and opponent controls with power two or less. All right, uh, target opponent reveals their hand. I know this has been played against me plenty of times, but yeah, you 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 can see how much I read the freaking cards. Um, let's see. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. That player discards that card. And then exile target opponent's graveyard. Man, sagas have so much value. Oh, you know what's pretty cool, Ali Mustafa? Um, freaking, uh, you know that new card, Glissa? Um, the, the one with first strike and death touch, that's a three power, right? Since it can... Um, when it attacks in at the player and deals them damage, you know, you can choose to um, remove up to three counters from target permanent. And uh, you probably already know this, but uh, just for anybody who doesn't, like, you can remove those counters from any permanent. Like, how about your own sagas, you know, so that you can, like, just start re <laughs> just start again for freaking chapter one, you know? Like, that's actually pretty freaking nutty. So I'm looking at that, and I'm like, you know, that would be pretty uh, darn good in uh, in that that Glissa, that Glissa deck. Might do that for myself. He said, "I'm gonna build a Glissa Saga deck." Yeah, dude, that's that's psychotic that you can do that, and like green and black right so the best play in that deck might be freaking what's it called binding of the old gods like that's insane like resetting binding of the old gods when chapter one is just destroy target non-land permanent jesus Hey, good for this guy, man. I can't tell you the last time I saw somebody playing that one. Good for him. Good for him. We're going to keep this one, I think. Right, we have the Mind Stone for the Commander one turn faster. We drop this one without penalty first turn. We're feeling good here. We have two fights in hand. Oh, shoot, Ozolith. All right, all right. Well, that's going to maybe make fighting him a bit uh, annoying. Let's hit uh, this one. I think that's good. I was debating going Signet and then Bushwhack for the land. <laughs> but I don't know. We have Mage Duel here. Um, this spell costs two less to cast if you've cast another instant or sorcery spell this turn. So I might want to try to keep as many fights as possible. If he's going to have a lot of tokens, I might want to kill a lot of tokens just to get a lot of cards, you know. This will now be very annoying. Jesus. Okay, we're going to need to ramp into the Tarask, boys. Oh, yeah, battles is, of course, absolutely great. Of course it's good with battles, but damn, dude. Oh man, Ali! I think you're going to be fighting me with Glissa, um, the saga of Glissa. <laughs> oh boy, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also not looking forward to it. Uh, no blocks. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's drop that on green right now. So, am I going to suicide my commander by fighting Darien and then um, forcing them to block it? Hang on, let me hit the thinking here. Let me hit the thinking here. I might need to suicide it to kill both of these, but I, I don't know how good that's going to be. Because I, I ultimately wind up losing it, you know? Um, let's hit, uh, let's hit 
this one, I think. Uh shit. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I got I got hit the poor guy with the freaking thinking here. Um. I think I think I might have to do this. He sh probably should sacrifice that. Um, okay. But at least now we can do this, right? So, plus one, plus zero, and fight. Alright, so it looks like, it looks like we got this, because now we force him to block. So we cleaned house there. Uh, not gonna lie, I did not anticipate that actually cleaning out his um, things. I thought we'd do all right there. All right, we actually cleaned house there. Um, this coming turn, we can probably drop Signet into Clothis. That feels pretty good. Um, Gargos is really nice, too. It's really nice that we can afford it. Do they have a land in their graveyard for me to... Do I have a land in my graveyard? Nah, because Clothis can uh, be really good. Um, it, can, it can add a um, red or a green if we exile a land card here. I, I see you guys. I'm missing chat. I, I see you. Um, I'm, I'm trying not to screw this up because I think I have a shot here. This was a huge top deck. Huge top deck. Uh, hang on. So target creature you control. Target creature we don't control. And now Gorgos gets another fight. So we're going to fight this also. That's wild. That's wild. All right. Let me let me get you in. Uh, let me get you in chat here. Um. Okay, he said I'm playing a Demir Proliferate and I'm winning. Oh, is, you said strange. Is Demir Proliferate good? It, is that in standard? Because I know in standard, there's a pretty good Demir Proliferate. I really can't believe that they put um, Proliferate on draw spells, though. I mean, it, it just, like, does it, does it tend towards, like, a mutually enjoyable style of play? Or is it just, like... I don't know, it kind of reminds, it kind of, it's like another flavor of Ivory Rot Priest. It's like another flavor of, like, weird turtling, where you don't really interact with the opponent, like, or even have your own offense. It's like winning through defense somehow. I don't, I don't know. I, I I don't like that there's multiple flavors of turtling for the victory through poison, too. And then uh, Ali said, Elspeth's Nightmare. Uh, let me hit the play button here. All right, Elspeth's Nightmare, first chapter, killing a creature with power of two or less, can kill uh, Dados. Uh, Elspeth got tricked in... Okay, okay, okay. Then the discard... Yeah, because I don't know a lot of the storyline stuff. Okay, Um. then the discard in Exile is a reference to the card Agonizing Remorse. Ah, wow. Oh, jeez. Okay, you know some shit about that. Man, I, I don't know about the, the lore and that stuff. Okay, cool, man. Um... I have to really consider this, because um, Season of Growth into this, and then I bet Confrontation's good. We're up against the Troxa, though, so who gives a shit? Uh, we'll, we'll just start. Um, and then Exiling Graveyards um, is a calling card of Ashayak, okay, who is Elspeth's Tormentor, but then you, you corrected it? Is it a calling card of Daxos? I, I, is that who you meant? I, cause I, I don't know. I don't know the characters. I just barely know that. Isn't Daxos a white card? <laughs> Like that that's who you're dealing with here. It's real nice that we get the season of growth down. It'd be the most amazing thing in the world if Ranging Raptors lived. So that we could get this fight off with it and then get a card out of this.
All right, beautiful. It resolves. We get the scry. We want the mountain. It's not the double green we need, but we're not going for that play next turn. Oh, no. Nah, don't kill Ranging Raptors, man. I need that. We get the draw out of Season of Growth, whether or not this spell resolves. We'll start by doing this and not dropping the land. Um, because if we draw a uh, green with this, then we can also hit Tail Swipe. Oh, wait. We wouldn't hit Tail Swipe because we only have one um, thing to fight here. Either way, let's see if we get a green. We don't. We'd really like an untapped green next turn so that we can do Ranging Raptors and then Tail Swipe. Oh, Daxos instead of Dados. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. There's Dados. Okay, okay, okay. And usually when I play the deck, the Demir deck, right, I lose every... Ugh. I mean, it's a good deck. It's absolutely a good deck. Don't get me, uh, you know, tell, saying that, you know, like, uh, I don't appreciate the style of, pay, of play. Uh, for, yeah, I mean, obviously it's a great deck. Uh, let's hit um, this. Really clunking along against the Troxa here. Good God, dude. Fine, because what if I scry it away and we get something that can't even add any land no matter what, you know? Unfortunately, now that they're going to get a Trox out, we're going to have a very hard time. So, I mean, this guy is actually a Brainiac. Uh, but, yeah, with Vraska out there, we're good. Like, we're sitting here struggling for land number five while he's just sitting there deciding which big fat planeswalker to drop as his second fat planeswalker, you know? Like, damn, man. Man, that hand had potential. Woo! Oh, shoot. Sorry, sorry. I, I see you down there. I, I missed that. Uh, I missed that challenge. I will get right to you. We'll get. We'll get out of this one. Chaos Metal gets uh, free coins there. Congratulations. Um, this hand was actually fairly good since we have a uh, the Elysian Caryatid there to actually add a uh, a mana or a red mana. All right. Let me get you with that challenge. There you go. Um, oh, did I already miss it? Ah, oh, shoot, I see you offline. Okay, um... The, the, okay, we'll, we'll just, uh... We'll play another one. My bad there. It's like it probably would have failed anyway. All right, Ella, Eris playing Obnixilis. Cool. All right. All right, you go, girl. All right. Um, I probably got to keep this hand. We don't have any fights, which I'm not a, a fan of, but if we can force them to block Hungering Hydra and grow it that way, that might be good. Kind of have to exhaust them of removal, though. This has flying, right? So, Crawl Harpooner can fight their commander and kill it with three power to three toughness there. That's actually not bad. As long as they don't immediately um, power it up, right? We, we could actually do pretty well there. Uh, let's hit this one first. Double Gangster talked too early. Lost to a mono. Uh, mono White's good, dude. Actually, it's big. They just got that Copper Coat Vanguard. That's huge. Not. Oh, wait. What? 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 Oh, that's nice and annoying. Okay, you know what? I 
All right. I think we could do this for x equals 2 and then fight it. Should be able to do this one. Hang on. How exactly is this going to work? Because I'm going to deal damage... Am I going to survive this? You know, I just, I just need to figure it out for my... I just need to have it uh, demonstrated to me. Okay, so it is actually going to die. Oh, he could have killed it. Okay, I mean, destroying the mana dork is obviously very good. Okay, so he could have killed me there because his, his trigger goes on the stack after mine. All right, I wasn't sure exactly how that was going to work. Okay, we block that one. We need to kill this thing. We have Count the Ambush. I could drop it as a land, but I really think I need to kill that thing. Oh, shh. Shit. You know what? Not gonna lie. Whatever. We get this down. Uh, now it adds two mana. Well, no attacks. Definitely screwed up. Alright, you know what? We didn't kill this, but we can find whatever, dude. We're honestly doing terribly. We're back to getting handcuffed every game. If we can get a source of land here, damn it, we don't. I think Silverback Elder is still good, though. And then next turn, Burn Down the House is pretty good. If we could have gotten a source of land untapped, we could have dropped that and then played Silverback Elder. Then this would have tapped for two. I guess we would have only played this, but, you know, at least we would have gotten immediate um, value out of Silverback Elder there. Yep, Ali's got to restart. Okay, I see you in the bottom there. Let me just try to get through this game here. I definitely see you. Can I not discard burn down the house? Although I think Obnixilis might get pretty big here, right? I think it might get to five power, though. No, it didn't. Didn't they deal me exactly one damage there? All right, now they dealt me exactly one. Come on, don't kill Silverback Elder. Fucking lord, dude. Nice, Defiler of Instinct, yep. Gives us one damage pings, or it deals one damage to any target whenever they cast a red permanent spell. Super good there with their commander, of course. Very nice. Oh, attacking with two, one, okay, it counts as two damage then. Okay, okay, thank you, sir. All right, all right, good. Now, Defiler of Instinct has first strike, so I can't just double Nath's power and then attack in. I mean, it'll still get blocked. I guess I could double this thing's power and force them to block it. It'll lose. It'll die. Oh, right. They'll just do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Start a brawl queue with the Jisheth. Oh, good for you, Double Gangster. And then you, you immediately got punished for your good deed. I'm leaving, he said. Good rest of the night, big fan. <laughs> Good night, man. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's real annoying, isn't it? That sucks. I have to force him to block. 
Just for the stupid card. Just in case we get like a Tamios, which of course we didn't. That would have been God tier. Um, yeah, let's just do that. It sucks, but um, I don't have much else to do here. We were just hoping for a God tier uh, top deck there, like Tamios or Heroic Intervention, which could have, uh, of course, had us live. With Heroic Intervention, I guess we could have done Heroic Intervention and then finished out with Sky Shroud Ambush. That would have been the greatest thing in the whole entire world. Uh, yes, resolve all. And thank you for uh, waiting. I think that's... Uh, yeah, I'll leave there. I'll, I'll get you... Uh, I'm about to lose. I don't know what we can get here. It's got to be something like Kogla. You know what I mean? Ronus is good, though. It's not going to cut it. But let's see if we can get... Oh, hang on. You know what? Hang on. Let me uh, let me tap this. Let's see if we can get a god tier top deck. Because this one does draw us a card when we win. A fight. So uh, this one... So let's see if we can draw another fight here. Because that would be like kind of a wild. Wow. Uh, nope, that's it. Yep, good game. Okay, Ali, I'm right after you, man. It looks like the uh, invite expired, so I will send it right out to you. Thank you for uh, your patience, dude. Not just with uh, the game, but with uh, me as well here. Let's go. I'll thank you on behalf of the game for your patience. Yep. Uh, wait, did you send something? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. You said that. Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, here you go. Uh, challenge. No, I have to change the uh, format. There you go. All right, man. <laughs> Double gangster said he started <laughs> a brawl queue with Jishat. First opponent is Atroxa. Because, of course, it is, man. Yo, I'm telling you, uh, I guess you're not here anymore, but, uh, when I was playing Minsk and Boo, I didn't face a single Atroxa, and that doesn't happen. I'm telling you, man, it feeds them freaking easy opponents. And they're protecting them from freaking health here. Obviously, because it isn't where it belongs. I'm telling you, man. They're going to have to revamp the whole deck list for, um, for health here, because every Teferi and Nickel Bolas is going to see it coming from a mile away. They're going to get countered so hard. And that is the freaking way to deal with them, right? So that they can't actually fill their hand. It's that or, like, you know, the new Elish Norn. That's a, a very nice way to deal with them, too, of course. Um, wait, do I really want to drop a creature against him? I didn't want to just drop Naith, like, naked, and then roll the dice against the mono black deck. By the way, sleeves on point. Hell yeah. I don't remember what this one's name is, but that's the one, like, when your creatures die, you can pay some, uh, some small cost, and if you do draw a card, it's really good, man. It's like Therabos or something. I don't know. He's going to be slowly killing my creatures here. I guess it, now that I think about it, my bad. That, that doesn't really matter. Uh, that is a million percent no attacks there. Yeah, yeah, double gangster. All right. Yep, it's Erebos. Okay, I think you're actually exactly correct. Yep. All right, the reason I didn't drop Kogla is because of exactly this. I 
Eh, whatever. We'll just exile whatever from his graveyard. At least it puts a freaking oil counter on. It only matters if it's an enchantment. How can you show me an... Oh, shoot, right, because it, um... It screws up URL... Shit, it, it doesn't let you do URLs. Um, shoot. Um, you might be able to just comment it on one of my videos, and then even though it would probably auto-block the comment, I'm pretty sure that your auto-blocked comment would go to, like, something where it shows it to me and allows me to approve it or not. I That is my best hypothesis. Okay, exquisite blood. That feels like it's part of a combo. All right, my little my little booger guy there dies. Very sad. Very sad. Um, we're gonna hit this one, and then we're going to double Kogla attack with Kogla. Um, I think we'll kill um, probably this one because it keeps giving my shit minus one minus one. I know that exquisite blood is exquisite blood, but like. Yeah. Yeah, Kogla's gonna freaking smash there. Yeah, sorry that it was taking a while there. You see, uh, when I'm, uh, when it loads up the freaking deck, it takes freaking forever. Poor guy was, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's really annoying. I think we, we freaking hit his commander multiple, three times there, unfortunately. That's really freaking annoying for the poor dude. Yeah, oh, flooded again. Okay, so, oh, yeah, that's freaking frustrating. Yeah, I feel you, dude. And then I'm sitting there with Kogla against an enchantment deck. You know what? I really feel like I I get better starting hands and, like, just better, like, cards. Like, it gave me Kogla against your enchantment theme, of course, when Kogla attacks and uh, destroys target artifact or enchantment. I swear to God, like, it gives me better, like, everything when I'm facing viewers. And then I feel like I go back into the, uh, into the queue, and I'm just, like, begging. <laughs> begging for coherent hands. When against my viewers, I feel like three out of four times, like... I get, like, good or even great hands. Hmm. It's a three lander. No ramp. Questing Beast is good. Shadow Spear is good. Unfortunately, I thought I had to mulligan that one. I guess I'm regretting it now. Sorry, guys. You can probably drop this one, and... Mm, no, because this does have four power, which makes this tap for two mana. So maybe I get rid of Ill-Tempered Loner. Silverback Elder is good against his enchantments, though. That's, that's a thing. Is that good? Because I, I know that I'm up against his enchantments. That's actually huge. I would highly, I hope to God, I would highly doubt it bans you, Double Gangster. I would assume you mean from YouTube. Because I would just undo that right fast. I'd have to find out where to do that, not going to lie.
Oh, shit. Okay, okay. That's a pretty... Yeah, that's a nice enchantment there for that one. Yep, very good, very good. Oh, definitely attack. Oh, yeah. No reason not to. Absolutely. Do I want to go Silverback Elder here? I think I might want to try it. It's must remove. Ah, shit. Alright, alright, yep. Yep, alright. This this is, a, this is a bit better for you. Alright, alright. Oh, it didn't even send the me- Well, then I, co I couldn't tell you how to do it here, then. Uh, oh, nope, hang on. Let me, uh... When he does Liliana, I just have to hit Heroic Intervention because there's really no sense in uh, discarding it when I could play it. I wish he had done Liliana first. Okay, he still wants to discard because he can throw an enchantment away. He doesn't. Yeah, he, oh wow, yeah, plenty of lands. I just looked up. Yeah, you got six. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's a good number. On. Yes! It went through, thank goodness. Yeah, where's my card, damn it? Doesn't matter, we're not going to be able to afford that. Choose attacker, boom. That way he can't make me sacrifice a creature, drop this, because otherwise I discard it. What the hell's the point? All right, so we got extremely fortunate there because this dude slaughtered me for the first few turns, and I still don't feel good. I have zero cards in hand. He has three. He might plus Liliana and lose one of those cards, but still, he can exile my graveyard. That's fine. I don't think I have much functionality from the graveyard. I love this card. It's actually such a cool card. Cool. Oh no. Oh, you poor fucker. I'm sorry. Although actually I can't I can't actually kill that. Um I can't actually This is going to be a toughie. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Thinking. All right. Shit. This is really tough. This is a really tough one right now. Let me get the poor freaking guy with the thinking here. I think I might have to force him to block this one. I kill Liliana of the Veil. And then fight this. And draw a card. Uh, Carplison. And then green. There you go. Alright, now he has to block that. So, just send it there. Doesn't matter. We kill Lilian. Good, we get a card. Wow. I'll be back. Do I want to kill this? I probably should. We get we get a fight. We will get the card. All right, it's a print screen screenshot from a game against a mono white. Okay, that I played yesterday. Okay, he played. Um, I think six spells, five. Oh God, oh God, dude. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Double gangster. All right. Yep. Yep. That that does it. That that pisses me off enough. Just like the uh, just like the image would have. Yep. You uh. Yep. 
Uh, that's gonna be probably Gorgos, right? Because it has a, uh, it has freaking uh, what's it called? It has vigilance there. So we're we have seven lands, eight, nine, ten. So I should be able to play Naith for eight. Oh shoot! Wait, it costs eight. Never mind. I'll need a land top deck, an untapped land top deck, in order to do Naith, and then when I attack, force him to block. Yeah, that's not terrible. That's not terrible because I can give this a. Uh, Freaking uh, trample, but I honestly think I want to go Naith here. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't afford that. We missed by one. All right, he blocks. We get a card, but I mean, it's eight damage. He probably should block. That's actually re that poor that that's dirty. <laughs> I feel unclean, man. We got to get rid of that one. It's an enchantment, so he could do his uh, thing. And not to mention, it's just such a great card. That's wild, dude. All right, he does get to put a creature from a... All right, did... he left his commander there. He might want that. I, I don't think he wants Shieldred here. What do we have? Just that. Yeah, he probably doesn't want that, so... Okay. A Hydra deck would be fun, but I don't know. Yeah, honestly, you have to fill out a... Ah, oh, shit, nice. You have to fill out a Hydra deck with a lot of, like, changelings. Shapeshift or whatever. All right, that was huge for him. He deserved it, though, because, I mean, you guys saw my top decks. Like, that was, like, that was nuts, dude. How much is this going to cost next time? Four more. Do I do that now? I probably should, because I'm two turns out from using it with Naith. Let's just fuck him up. It'll prevent some damage, right? If he wants to cast it again, it'll take his whole turn, unless he has another graveyard recursion. Let's see. He's debating it. All right, he took it back to command zone. Pass turn. Yeah, it'd be really cool to run. Where is Gorgos? Here it is. Unfortunately, man, there's two little Hydras. I'm telling you, man. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. All right. Hey, he deserves it. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. I I will stop saying that Control is babied when they release things like Mist Cutter Hydra. That's an old um, Hydra from Theros. Um, I, I probably called out the card enough times where Bunny probably know what it is, boys. But um, it costs X and a green. It has protection from blue. It can't be countered. And it has freaking haste. And, of course, enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters. One of my favorite all-time freaking cards, let alone Hydras. But that would be amazing for Gorgos. But they baby control so hard. Like, I don't think that that deck is... That that's going to be in this game until control has a way to get around that, you know? It's one of my favorites, though. Just, like, just because it has haste in green. Obviously, the anti-blue stuff is great. But I just love, like green haste creatures by the way somebody uh somebody gave me the idea to run uh surak and Goreclaw in brawl so um i don't stream on tuesdays but on wednesday we're going to build and then play surak and Goreclaw for brawl so if anybody's interested in that that's the new uh the new uh green Legend, uh, well, not new, whatever, from a few sets ago. March of the Machines, I guess that's new. Um, right, but the fact that, like, whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under our control, um, it puts a plus one, plus one counter on it, and that creature gains haste until end of turn, and it gives all of our creatures trample, so, like, we could put in a Death Touch sub-theme with that stuff. Uh, hang on, let me, uh, let me make sure to, uh, do that. I don't know how many Death Touchers with a reasonable amount of power I have.
I want to kill that one because it has flying. I know he can recast that. It's his commander. But, like, it's going to cost eight the next time he does it. And, uh, it, you know, it does have flying, so it would just... It would have me on that uh, really uh, short clock. It looks like it would be two turns, right? Because next turn he could swing in for four damage. I can only block one of these and take the two, and then I go down to two. The next turn you just do that. Oh, oh brother. Yeah, that's going to be good, because he's just going to sacrifice those creatures, I guess. I mean, he could sacrifice whatever to this. Yeah, he. I think he's got this. Very good, very good, man. Yup, we'll block. Those don't have any weird death touch, right? That's a really cool token, though. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that face. Well played, dude. Well freaking played, man. Yep, that's it, because he just, uh, he swings wide. So that's it, bro. Oh, I missed, I missed my true intention there. That's, uh, that's GG. Yep, he's got this. Right, he can attack, right? I didn't just do that for nothing, right? Yeah, nothing says it can't attack. All right, yep, you good. Let's see, let's see how he wants to end it. Oh, dark, okay, dark ritual, okay. All right. Okay, uh, what else are you going to do? You play Dark Ritual. What do we got? Okay, you just want to play it. Cool. Okay, get the ritual in there. Yup, well played, dude. Oh, man. Woo, had a little bit of back and forth in there, dude. Damn, damn. Although, you know, you, you probably deserved that game the whole time. Um, my, uh, my strong point of that game came with some incredible top decks, like, especially with that Crawl Harpooner fight on his commander. But, like, you know, that was very lucky when he was doing well for, uh, or better than me, definitely, for, um, pretty much all the games. So he definitely deserved that. But, you know, the fact that I got those lucky comebacks, or lucky top decks for a comeback a little bit, that did make for an interesting game. So that was a pretty darn good one right there, my dude. Yup, definitely a good game. Yes, Ali, hell yeah, man. I appreciate, uh, I appreciate you playing me, man. Have a, uh, have a good night. I'll see you next time. Woo! Not gonna lie, I kind of wanted that one, but he did deserve it. Man, that lucky top deck streak ran out real fast, though, huh? <laughs> he did get some good ones, but, uh, only some? I'll probably keep counting the ambush as long as possible. Drop this one tapped first, right? I have to keep this one because it's, it's coherent, so. Butter bones, cool. Hit this one. Get the uh, dual land right fast. Boom, there you go. All right, very well. At this point, we probably want to drop this as a land and then hit this, because we do have, like, Kogla and that, you know, so we, we got to, like, get our lands down. All right, that didn't die there when they had two lands up, so that's pretty incredible. Let's see uh, how they handle this turn here. If we get an untapped land, that would be the most incredible thing, because I would love to get Kogla down. I mean, hell, honestly, with the no untapped land, maybe I could drop Naeth and then fight. Uh, we will not have that luxury, but this is still good, right? I mean, it swings in. They can't block it. No, uh, Planeswalker to kill, of course. And, you know, we still got Questing Beast on the field. And by the way, this will definitely go into Surak and Goreclaw, of course. For, uh, four power Death Touch. And if Surak and Goreclaw gives that thing Trample, we know how, uh, Trample and Death Touch works. It works goodly. That That's how it works. So we'd really like the untapped land here. 
so that we can go Naith and then fight. Okay. Well, at least I get a card, honestly. That's actually really good. It, it took me a second to process it. That's actually really good. I'm just checking it for death touch. Alright. Well, I mean, at least it gets us another card. We really need a land, but I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's a step in the right direction. Next turn, when we can cast that sorcery speed. Wow, if damage would be dealt to you, prevent that damage and mill twice that many cards instead. Beautiful. But this can kill that. That's actually incredible. And we get a, uh, a scry. Boom. Scry, please. Wow. That's lovely, but we can't afford that. Although I guess we can cultivate, but I have other things to do too. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, attack. Then it's probably Cultivate, because I can't see a world where Cultivate's better than Explore here. Alright, get to land on the field, and we'll also hit our land drop. That's pretty incredible. Uh, let's do that, and uh, this, just in case we happen upon Fiery Emancipation. Oh, wait, no, I have Triple Red. Okay, so, whatever. Wound up not mattering. Thought I needed the red for a uh, Triple Red. Okay, that's fine. Questing Beast has lived a long-ass time. It's dealt all of our combat damage to them so far. We can hit Kogla or Thorn Mammoth, which is wild. Alright. Um, with seven mana, uh, do we start with Naith? And then force them to block maybe Drover? No, that's not how that works. I like Naith and then um, double Questing Beast. Because I'd like to keep Questing Beast alive, so we might force them to uh, kill Naith here. We get a Scry. That's good. Uh, no, we honestly, we need fights now. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, We'll force them to block it, but they can't block it, so we'll just double it to 8. Right? We'll double it to 8 power. But now I don't know if I'm forcing them to kill Naith, since that thing's an 8-4. I might be forcing them to kill Questing Beast. Ooh, he said that he said it's coming back 100%. You were, uh, you were correct. We do get a nice draw there. Okay, yeah, you're absolutely, uh, absolutely correct there. Um, I have, like, Armored Scrap Gorger in here for, a uh, for Graveyard Exile. Do I have any Exiles in here? Yeah, nothing like Frog Hemoth, uh, Scavenging Ooze. I don't know if there's any Sagas in Green Red that do that. Obviously, there's, like, artifacts. Are you just going straight to Chapter 3? Alright, what do you got? Reaver of Freakin' Souls. Whenever another non-token creature dies, you may draw a card. That'll probably have to fall to Kogla. I mean, we could also do Thorn Mammoth fight this, and then for Thorn Mammoth fight that, right? I guess that's not terrible, right? Because, uh... Yeah, I like it. Eh, I, I kind of want to fight, honestly. Get rid of that. You get two, uh... Two draws out of this. They'll get a draw. That's nice and annoying, but I get draws. And this is whenever another non-token creature dies, draw a card. So they won't get the card draw on this one. Uh, mm, don't really need that. I need a fight, dude. Come on. Wow. 
Wow, besage you. Are they going to have 20 or more cards in their graveyard? They will now, so they can play the exiled card, the Eldest Reborn. That's fine. They just need that to get to a... Oh, wow. Each opponent discards a card? Oh, okay. I see how that works. Okay. Uh, probably explore at that point. Okay, because it came in and then they hit... Um, I don't know. Whatever phase this actually... I forget if this is upkeep or at the beginning of main phase. I honestly forget exactly when uh, Sagas get uh, their counters. Does it, does it say? Can I bring it up like here? Wow, okay, well, he got Thorn Mammoth, so that means that it now fights. Jesus. Wait, what? Wait, did, did he, did I miss a Proliferate? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Proliferate, all right. So, he pretty much cleared house there, so... I don't know what we're gonna do. I guess we can do Gorgos, and we can kill both of those things, but we're gonna lose Gorgos, and he's gonna get a bunch of cards. What other choice do I have? Right? Well, what other choice do I have? One, two, seven, eight. I can do Gorgos and the fight spell. I could do Toralf and the fight, but not deal any excess damage. I could do Kogla and kill this, but then Kogla dies. So that's not really a thing that I want to do. I think it is Gorgos and then fight. I just have I have to make sure I do this uh, properly here. Um, all right, let's see. How am I going to do this? I need to fight this. Um, hang on, I need to fight this first and then that second. That way, this one resolves first. All right. So, uh, so this fights. You fight this right now, and then this thing goes on the stack. All right, all right, I got this. And then it fights this. That should work. All right, so we get the card. They get a card, too. That's annoying. I'm sure it'll keep coming back. I think they're at the point where they're just going to keep recurring. Yeah, unfortunately, I only got freaking Armored Scrap Gorger. And I would assume that uh, Graveyard Heat is going to be uh, death on sight. Right? And armored Scrap Gorger would probably just die. I mean, look at how many cards they have in hand. Sure, they can figure out a kill spell somewhere in there. <laughs> Jesus, they got the whole Eldest Reborn last turn. That was pretty nuts. That was pretty darn cool. I'll definitely give the guy the uh, the good game for this one. I think he did a really nice job. Matter of fact, I think I'll honor him with the cool good game, right? Oh, yeah, Jesus, dude. <laughs> All right, hang on a second. Can I do something with, like, Tor Elf here? Hang on. If I cast Tor Elf for four... Let me hit this boy with the uh, thinking right fast. Um, Tor Elf for four, and then this for X equals three. And then... Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Or do I do this, and then whenever it's dealt damage, it deals a bunch of damage to the next thing. I guess we could do that, right? No, 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 because it would only get dealt two damage from this. All right, so we have to do Tor Alf, and then X equals... Uh, honestly, X equals one would be enough to fight this, kill it, and then uh, deal five extra damage to this. Let's just let's just max it out. Just straight max out. So, yeah, best that. Do that. Uh, Scry, you know what? That's actually mad good. That is very good. Uh, let's just do X equals freaking uh, three here. Just max it out, right? I wish we had Fiery Emancipation for this one. That would get insane, man. Alright, so we deal 7 extra damage. I mean, do I do it to Junji so that they can just bring back other things? I don't think I should, honestly. I think I should probably attack them like that. Right? I mean, should I really do that so that they can just get a free recursion, which they'd love to just bring back that thing right here that I keep killing and draw more cards? Right? Like... Should I, should I really just give them... Oh my god, wait, how'd you get Cruelty of Jigs back? Oh, right, the thing I just killed lets you bring back wherever it is. 
Oh, it gets exiled right here. It is when it enters, when the battlefield, return to your permanent card. Oh, that's how you did it. Okay, when it enters the battlefield, not when it, uh, not when it dies. All right, yep, we're, uh, we're probably looking like we're about dead here. I, I still think I made the right call in not hitting Junji there and giving them a free revive. Uh, obviously, we're <laughs> gonna die, but, yeah. Still think I did an all right thing there. Um, how are we gonna do this, man? Um... Is it Kagla? Um, Kagla plus Arnie Slee is the troll is a possibility here. Um, Ill-tempered loner, but then I ill-tempered loner plus Halan and Elena is actually all right. To be honest, like that's not the worst thing in the world. Let me hit the poor guy with the thinking again. Um, although Kagla fighting this. But then I don't really do anything else after Kogla fights that, right? I guess I could hold this at instant speed to hit Shieldred with. I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. Or maybe we should do uh, this on Shieldred right now. Uh, wow. Okay. Well, I mean, there's the actual graveyard hate. Uh, so now we pass the turn, right? Or do I... I don't think I should bushwhack for a land, right? Because that resets the library. Pass the turn there. Yep. Nice. Okay. Yep. We have an instant speed fight, fortunately, so we can do it at a... Each opponent sacrifice a creature. Yes, yeah, so we can do it in response to them. So, yeah, we'll uh, have it fight Titania just because I don't want to give them a free revive with Junji. Draw that. Of course, they just get two creatures back anyway. I don't know if Halan and Elena into this is uh, the best thing in the world. I mean, it would exile, exile something from their graveyard. Jesus, dude. Uh, Halan and Elena. Um, maybe Naith fight? Is it Naith fight? We got nine mana. Naith plus three. Naith, Armored Scrap Gorger, Bushwhack. Or maybe Naith, Arnie Slays the Troll. Not Bushwhack, though. So maybe not this one. Um, it'll, we probably want... Oh, I just saw uh, Portal to Phyrexia, to be real. Um, so that's probably about it. Yeah, at this point, yeah, I would have to reanimate the whole graveyard. Double Gangster agreed. I, I would have to reanimate the whole the whole graveyard, so that, that's just not going <laughs> to That ain't happen. Uh, wow, Fiery Emancipation. If only I could get that off, like Fiery Emancipation into a Ill-Tempered Loner. We can draw Fiery Emancipation. Um, I couldn't use Arnie Slays the Troll, though. I'd have to do Bushwhack in order to do it, because it has to be a spell targeting my stuff. Uh, this, this, we need the, uh, spell, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and then it would be ten with, uh, Arnie Slays the Troll, chapter two next turn. Uh, yeah, let's just, uh, fight it, because they're gonna hit Portal to Phyrexia anyway, so we might as well just get an extra card. Our boy dies. It, it's... Oh, right. It's just for the fight, though, because we had a fight, so Nath does draw us. All I'm thinking right now is, like, can I get Fiery Emancipation and then somehow, like, Halan and Elena haste something in for the win? That would take two turns to accomplish. Next turn, we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. That's Fiery Emancipation plus 5. Wow. All right. Oh, 
Well, that puts us on a clock that we can't beat. Damn, the Vorinclex really locks it up. We might have had a chance there. Not with the Vorinclex, though. Um, scavenging ooze is not in this one. It might not be a bad thing to have. I mean, obviously, looking at how this game went, it might not be a bad thing to have. We'll have to hit uh, Resolve All here, I think, because that's going to be a whole bunch of uh, Vorinclex triggers. Yep, Resolve All. Uh, let's probably go with uh, this one. And then they'll just kill it, but like... Yep, let's hit the... Uh... Oh, I don't have to resolve all. Yep, okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, that's, that's good. I wish we had that in hand right now. We would actually win. Damn, you know what? I could have won this, right? Here's Bushwhack right here. If I hadn't used it last... Although, mm, yeah, if I hadn't used it last turn, I would have been able to fight their Vorinclex right there. Received seven... seven da yeah, definitely good game. Received seven damage, right? And then that would have been multiplied to freaking... Tw oh, no, after all of that. Damn, after all of that. Dude, look at that. I actually could have done something there. Right? Right? I'm, I'm, I'm not like... I'm not mistaken there, right? I threw away the bushwhack, right? Right? Shit, that actually feels kind of really sad, kind of tragic. Shit, I really screwed that up, right? Because we bushwhack this, right? Takes or takes seven damage to this. Obviously, it dies, but it deals a freaking three times seven damage to that thing. We would have had just enough mana. Damn it! Ah, oh, man, I really like making screw ups in quick games. Oh man, that was definitely the game of the night, though. Gotta hand it to uh, El Quack, and that was pretty good. Not gonna lie, gotta hand it to us, though. Like, I mean, I threw it away at the end with that bushwhack. Damn, I wish I hadn't done that just for a cheesy card. Um, I, I, I didn't think that one through. Obviously, I, I thought I just needed a card to do anything at all because I saw a Portal to Phyrexia there. I, I, wow, damn it, that. Oh man, I pit, that pisses me off. Oh, and we're, I'm gonna end the stream on that one too. Damn, because that was a uh, that was a pretty nice game. That brings us right up to freaking three hours. Damn it. Oh, it, I mean, it's nice that we had a chance there, obviously, because like we're up against seemingly endless recursion there, uh, and we actually had a chance. Oh man. All right, boys and girls. Damn it. Ugh. It's nice to see that we had a chance, but I wish I had actually executed there. Uh, if we haven't already liked the video, hit me with the like. Um, we're not streaming tomorrow on Tuesdays. I don't stream most Tuesdays, but um, on Wednesday, I'm going to build Surak and Goreclaw and then play it. To be honest, it's going to be a lot like most of my green decks. However, I'll actually give my reasonings for why I put most of the cards in there. Um, so if there's any value to be drawn from that for you, you can... Uh, watch that it's just gonna be like mostly green good stuff you know with uh some protection spells maybe a little bit of death touch because how it interacts with a uh, trample there really uh really uh mad about that one though yeah we i mean we did held up for a long time man i mean again he was making loads of value i i damn it he <laughs> that's freaking tragic hey double gangster man thank you for being here my dude you have yourself a good night and uh everybody take care of yourselves take care of each other surak and gore club brawl will build and play it on a wednesday please like my stream bye bye everybody